Hey, how's it going, everybody? Happy Thursday. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're feeling thirsty. Uh, sorry if there's any confusion. For some reason, I had set the uh, start time on the stream a half hour later when I set it up in StreamYard, I guess. I don't recall doing that. I'm pretty sure I said for 8 o'clock, but StreamYard says otherwise. So um, starting at the normal time, either way. So if you're here, make sure you hit that like button so that people know that we are here. We're hanging out. And then uh, say hi in the chat. Let everybody know that you're hanging out with me on this lovely Thursday evening. We've got some people checking in already. Mr. Whiskey Shits, Adam of Livewire Whiskey. Cheers to you, man. Thanks for being here. Everybody check out Livewire Whiskey Sunday nights. It's the place to be. The James Taylor in the house as always. What's up, man? Thanks for being here. Eric the Barbarian. You can also subscribe to his channel. I am encouraging you to hit that like button um, and then just just hit it preemptively. And then if later you decide you don't you don't like it, just hit the thumbs down at that point. You know, it's it's not like a permanent vote. You can change it. I mean, you could change it several times throughout the night if you felt like it. That would be fine. Prescription bourbon. What's up, DMC? How you doing? And Gordo's in the house. What's up, Gordo? Good to see you. DMC reminding you that if you're here, then you click the bell notification. Yes, yeah, thank you. Thank you. We got more people rolling in. Um, I was sitting here and I was looking because usually StreamYard gives you this thing that says like, it's showtime and it, it didn't do that. I'm like, what the fuck? And then it's, uh, it said I had a half hour left. So I contemplated just sitting here for a half hour. And then I said, nah, I, I'm, I'm gonna get the party rolling. Gotta get into it. I. Uh, Slowly working on this guy. I did have a little swig beforehand, but I'll do another one. Cheers to all of you. If you got something in your glass, let me know what it is. And we'll get into tonight's topic. Uh, James reminding you to hit that like button and the bell. Because the bell tells you when, uh, when things are happening. And for a long time, I felt like that bell wasn't really doing much, at least on my end. For channels that I subscribe to, but in the last month or so, it seems to be that the bell is working again on uh, on every uh, every stream that I've clicked it on, and some that I haven't, some that I'm not even subscribed to, which is weird. It's just like, hey, you've watched a couple videos from this guy; he's doing a thing. It's, it's like I would have subscribed if I wanted to see more of him, but you know. You know how it goes. Story time in the house. What's up, Shane? Uh, got the package. I haven't opened it yet, but the Rock and Rye has arrived. Thank you. And also, there might be something that Shane had a hand in that's in this list I'm going to get into tonight. One well, Scott just became a channel member. Thanks, buddy. Fifth Quarter Tailgate. Everybody subscribe to the Fifth Quarter Tailgate, Scott's channel. If you like sports, if you like drinking. I mean, there's not... We gotta be honest, Scott, there's not a lot of, not a ton of sports talk on your channel for being a sports channel, but it does happen. Gordo finds the bell does work for live streams. Well, there you go. There you go. T Rob in the house. What's up? Good to see you, Tim. You're probably in the, in the uh, iron paradise, clanging and banging, hitting the weights, hitting the exercise bike right now. Scott taking advantage of those egg roll emojis that he just uh, became a proud owner of as a channel member. If you want to be cool like Scott and have various egg roll faces at your disposal, including like this one, I think is one of them. Uh, go for it. Gordo using those as well. Thanks, guys. So topic of the night is going to be my favorite whiskeys from 2022. I did actually film a video for this, like over there where I used to sit, and I got into editing it, and I got really into, it's been a long time since I've edited, and I got really into more the technical side of things, and was actually having a lot of fun with that, with color grading and sound stuff, boring shit that you guys don't care about, but um, I spent way too much time doing that shit, and then as I got into like doing the actual edit, I'm like, you know... I don't like the look of my background that I shot this with because I like this new background that I've built. Um, and I literally shot the video there and then like tore everything down and moved. I don't know why I didn't just 
shoot it here, but I didn't. And with each passing day, this is a topic that loses relevancy. Some would argue at this point, January 26th, it's already pretty irrelevant. But nonetheless, I've had people ask, what did I like last year? So I'm going to give you a list. It's a list of seven different whiskeys. Uh, the first six are going to be really no particular order, just things I really like, not ranked. And then I'll just give my overall favorite of the year. Kind of move through them quickly. There's a good variety of stuff here, I think. None of it's going to be like crazy uh, expensive stuff or uh, your, your four gates and old carters of the world. We don't get that shit around here. So I, I, I don't get to have that. This is all going to be pretty reasonably findable stuff. There's, as I look at it, I mean, there's one that you got to be at the distillery to get, but uh, the others you should be able to find with a little bit of legwork. You should find them. Scott's saying he lets the sports talk, ha talk happen at the beginning 30 minutes and then they get into the real shit. Post sports. Eric Isaacson in the house. What's up, man? Good to see you. Richie Z in the house as well. Good to see you as always. T Rob said he just got home from work, had to work late. Well, hey, if you're ready for a pour, I'll be opening it up in a little bit. Everybody's saying hi to each other and everything. Cool. So, yeah, like I said, first six, no particular order, not ranked, just uh, things I really like this year. I'm going to start. I'm going to start with one. I'll go with the lowest proof one first, and one that uh, really did surprise me this year. If you've seen me on other streams or even this one, I did talk about it. A little bit it's uh it's one i found when we went and did a pick at 45th parallel distilling in new richmond wisconsin we did a wheat whiskey pick some of you have gotten to taste that uh which you know i like that pick it'd be kind of weird to put your own pick in your favorites i mean i suppose you could but uh we get done with the pick and we're just sitting at the bar there it's a really nice bar and they said well we've got whatever else you guys want we'll give you pours of it you want to taste other things and they poured us this and it blew me away instantly. It is another Wisconsin wheat, but it's a heritage grain, Red Fife. Uh, this stuff, when I tasted it, I just, you know, we had, we had been drinking barrel proof wheat whiskeys, barrel proof ryes uh, that we tried that day. And then this still came through with its all of its 96 proof i had to look at that I, I knew it was under 100 but 96 proof still had tons of flavor on it even after all that i get lots of like strawberries on it um kind of a creamy strawberry kind of thing with your regular wheat whiskey kind of funky uh agricultural thing i find wisconsin whiskeys kind of they have this commonality to me when I drink them of this, I don't know if, if you call it agricultural, but they feel very of this area. Um, you know, like 45th parallel, they source all their grain from very close to the distillery. And like when you drive through the countryside, like you get, it's like this specific note, like they taste like home to me <laughs> to be a, you know, whatever about it. Um, this stuff is really, really good. It's one of the few bottles that I bought a backup of this year, and I will buy more. I'm going to bunker this one, I think. I might go buy another one because they are selling them. If you're in Wisconsin, check your uh, Festival Foods locations. This has popped up there now. Uh, the first one that I had the bottle was like the 15-year 15, 15 anniversary uh, barrel that they did, and then... They are now releasing it as a regular one because they must like it as much as I did. So if you're in the general Wisconsin area, look for this. If you like wheat whiskeys, if you like strawberries, if you like uh, good times, this is a great one. So highly recommend. 45th Parallel, Red Fife. Uh, next, let's see. We got more people checking in here. Yeah, people are figuring out. We're, uh, we're live. We're live in you know, a little earlier than it said we were going to be. We got Doug H in the house. What's up, Doug? If the mouse will work and I can click things. Good to see you, Doug. Shane had to rewind and listen to the opening again. Hey, 
you want to listen to that, you can just p- dial it up on whatever music streaming service you, you choose. It's on like all of them. If you're out in a bar and they have touch tunes, you could play that song in the bar. It's called Take No Mess, if you're interested. The, um, let's see. John Cran's in the house. Cheers. I know John's had some 45th Parallel stuff. Big Vic in the house. What's up, man? Good to see you. Does it taste like cheese curds? No, no, it does not. It does not. It's a, it's a, it's a very nice, uh, it's a tasty pour. Tasty pour. Mark Ramenecker, what's up, man? I believe it's Mark's birthday. Everybody say happy birthday to Mark. He's a good dude. Whiskey Uncensored, who the fuck is that? That's Bourbon, for those of you who don't know. Uh, you probably have him in your subscription feed, and if you don't, you should, because it's Bourbon. Friday nights, or now Saturdays, I believe. Good old-fashioned live streaming. MC Squared, what's up, guys? Also subscribe to them. It's good shit. Need a little water. All right. So I'm going to keep with the wheat whiskey trend on this one. And I think this is going to be arguably probably the hardest to find on this, depending on where you live. This is one I picked up at the Heaven Hill Distillery from uh, their You Do Bourbon, I believe it was called, where you get to go and you, you learn and yada, yada, you taste things. And then you can choose if you want to bottle your own bourbon or in this case a wheat whiskey from the selections that they've had for you that day so it's a single barrel pick and at barrel proof it is the bernheim wheat whiskey uh you can see there my girlfriend actually bottled this bottled by egg rolls mom uh this stuff was really surprising when we tasted it Uh, and i think uh chris and lil who i met there that day uh, a couple days later, they were going to do the same experience, and they both took a bottle of this because they liked it so much. I contemplated that because it's so good, but I it was hard to resist being able to bottle my own ECBP, so I went with that. We went for the spread on it, you know, or get one of each, but I'm going to pour a little bit of this right now. We're at the end, and, you know, I was I was getting the ECBP, and Aaron's like, she's like, which one should I get? I was like, burn it. Burn it. That's what you're getting. Because it was either this, ECBP, or Larceny. There wasn't a fourth, like, special release that they sometimes have in that experience. But this stuff, take a little sip. Mm. Yeah, that's good. I mean, it's, I really like wheat stuff. That's super sweet. Super sweet cinnamon with a little bit of like abrasion on the tongue like I get on Weeders. Uh, Seven years aged. Uh, If you are able, when you're in Kentucky, in the Louisville area, or not Louisville, I mean, that's, what is it, Bardstown area, um, stop by there. And if they have Bernheim Barrel Proof available for you to buy in the gift shop, or if you do the, you know, tasting experience, I highly recommend picking up a bottle. During that whole thing, that we were there for they also mentioned that this was going to be probably released to the public in the i don't know if they meant this year or next year but it's on the docket to make this a regular release and i'm imagining with it being barrel proof it'd probably be similar to the uh ecbp and larceny releases like the three time a year thing i would hope that would be really awesome uh because this this is really good. I'd never even had the regular Bernheim before this. And I tried it, tried this and man, it's good. And then you go out to like outside of that after we did our bottles and they had the regular Bernheim there to taste for free. It was okay. You know, it's not, it's not anything great. Uh, but this stuff, don't sleep on it. If you get a chance, pick up a bottle. Highly recommended. See, Peter White's got an old Bernheim 7 wheat whiskey in the bar somewhere. Is it a barrel proof or is it just the regular? Um, give us a barrel proof. Hell yeah, dude. That's, that's the way it's it. That's the way to go. 
Happy birthday, Mark. Yes. You even got birthday cakes in there? Damn. Damn. What's up, Tim? Good to see you, man. Thanks for being here. We got some more people. Let's see. Eric Desmarius is in the house. I didn't see you come in. What's up, dude? Good to see you. William Davilar, how you doing, man? Thanks for stopping by. Mark Ammenecker, yes, I am a fan of wheat whiskey. There's a, there's a lot of people that are like no weeders ever, and I find that silly, but I suppose, you know, it could just not agree with you, with your palate type. You know, there's people that just don't drink rye at all. There are people that won't drink scotch at all. You know, it's it's all personal taste, but over the last two years, really, I've gotten a lot more into weeders, whether it be through, I think kind of the gateway into that was Maker's Private Selects. Eddie started getting really into those. And then I got the, um, you know, the limited releases that year, the, not the BRTs, the one before it, I forget, FAEs, the FAEs. We got both of those. And then Eddie got on this kick with the limited releases. And yeah, we really got into the, uh, the weeders. I'm a big fan, big fan of them. Let's see. Oh, shit, it just jumped on me. This mouse. I think I figured out my mouse issue. It's actually like a interference thing going on with my audio interface, which is stupid. Wired peripherals. I think I'm going to get a wired mouse for down here because wired peripherals, man. No batteries, no bullshit. What's up, Dan OB? Good to see you, man. Thanks for being here. Just a regular Bernheim you find on clearance. Hey. On clearance, that's, it's hard to pass up the clearance cart at a liquor store. Uh, I saw a store um, in John Cran's area, actually, that had just put a bunch of, bunch of stuff on there for, for like 25 bucks on clearance. And it was, uh, I mean, it was nothing that I'm like running out to grab. But if I was in the store, I mean, some of those were like, you know, $60 bottles that they put down to 25 I'd take a swing at him for 25 bucks if I never had him. Tim reminding you, hit that like. Thanks, Tim. Appreciate that. We got everybody saying happy birthday to the man, Mark Ammenecker, everyone's favorite winner, the winningest man in whiskey too. Hey, Slapshot, what's up, buddy? Hope you're doing well. Good to see you. Looks like Independent Joe snuck in as well. Four Leaf Whiskey, Stacy's in the house too. What's up? Thanks for coming through. All right, next uh, pick. Let me take another sip of this Bernheim because, ooh. That's really good stuff. I sent some of you some samples of this and um, got positive reviews from everybody I sent it to. All right, next one that I've got um, also has wheat in it. So, Third one containing wheat here, but it's not a wheat whiskey. Actually, burr rye. And one that I would say, when I heard about this coming out this year, like when the press release went out that this was going to be a thing, this was one of the bottles that I was like, I want to hunt that one out. I want that. And everyone's friend, Big Vic of Big Vic's Backyard BS, helped me make that dream a reality. And he hooked me up. It's the Redwood Empire, Lost Monarch, cask strength. This stuff is nice. I mean, if you like regular Lost Monarch, most people do. It's all of that kicked up to 117.2 proof. Uh, very tasty, easy drinking. Doesn't really drink like a 117. You know, it's, it's pretty easy going. Uh, I brought it out at a bottle share that I had, like, like the night I got it from Vic or maybe like I got it the day before and then pulled it out. We popped it at a bottle share and of everybody there, it landed in everyone's top three of the night. And there was some big things on that table, like four roses LE. I remember sticking out as being one of my favorites that night, but uh, really solid stuff. Now my, my goal is to hit the, uh, the Emerald giant because what I've actually heard is like, while this is good, and is, you know, Lost Monarch is generally the favorite of the regular line. The Emerald Giant Rye cask strength is apparently the best of this series. 
pipe dream not getting the love again, which I understand. Um, I like pipe dream, but I don't love it. And the other two, I think, really eclipse it. And uh, same story in the cask strengths, I guess. But I guess the Emerald Giant pulls out ahead. And I really do like regular Emerald Giant. Uh, if you watched our King of the Rye tournament, it came in second place in that tournament of, you know, the eight random ryes that we put up there. And it, it took down some heavy hitters along the way. So that's kind of my next bottle that I'm, like, searching for. It's the Emerald Giant cast strength. But the Lost Monarch cast strength lived up to my expectations and then some. Very happy to have this. Kind of nursing it through the second half because I have not seen it hit our area yet in the spots that usually have the Redwood stuff. Um, I'm seeing a lot more of the Rocket Top and Grizzly Beast, which is a good sign that these should be on the way here. But yeah. Redwood Empire, more stuff. I'm a big fan of Redwood Empire and what they're doing. So uh, no surprise that that makes the list. Good shit. Joe reminding you all, you can become a member of the channel, just like Scott did earlier tonight. And you get the, uh, the egg roll emojis and support, support the boy. Um, you know, just say, we're, we're, just, we're just here drinking whiskey. It's not required. It's appreciated if you do become a member. Appreciate it. It's just a way to, to support the channel. I don't, I don't have a Patreon or anything like that uh, at this point. So that's the way, if you want to support the channel, that's how you can do it. It should be a button like down here, something, S somewhere in that general area. All right, we got some more people sneaking in. It looks like Todd of 21090, what's up, man? What a wonderful segue into my next bottle with Todd being here because I know Todd's a big fan of it as well. Cheers, Todd. Peter White says he's still waiting on those Lost Monarch cast strengths to show up in Canada. The regular releases came and went. Yeah, I suppose distribution up there, you know, it's going to, I imagine, take a little longer. Did you ever even see the Rocket Top and Grizzly Bee stuff in Canada yet? Or are you just getting the, uh, the regular... You know, around here, I mean, we get them a little cheaper around here where they're about 30 bucks. I know other places they're in the 40 range or so, but I still like all those three too. As far as value bourbons, or value whiskeys, I should say. Good shit, good shit. Richie reminding you to subscribe to Independent Joe if you haven't. Joe's dropping links, Richie's dropping links. If Richie had a channel, we would drop Richie's link, but Richie does not have a channel. Richie just hangs out on all of our channels, and we love him for it. <clears throat> what the fuck, Gordo? Are you serious? Are you sure it's it's like the brown label like this? Because I'm going there tomorrow, if that's the case. I never get down there anymore because I'm further away now. I wonder if the uh, the festival closer to me has them too. Interesting. John's got a sample of the Lost Monarch. Can't wait to start drinking again. Yeah, yeah man. I hope you're, uh, you know, on the mend, getting better. Hope the boys are are feeling less crowded <laughs> these days, and you're uh, you're on the way to recovery. And uh, yeah, having a pour. Richie Z loves that Rocket Top Rye. Yeah, I love it. I I like the Rocket Top better than the Grizzly Beast. But if you do a fifty fifty mix of them and make you know, the Lost Monarch version of that series, basically. If you've got both, give that a try. If you haven't done it, that is tasty stuff. It's a ride gem. That's trademark, Richie Z. Nobody else can say that now. You got to give Richie a dollar if you want to use that phrase. And subscribe to, to, to the boys over at 21090, your Tuesday night destination. If you're not at the other channel that also goes on Tuesday nights, but, uh, you know, 21090s, it's a ton of fun. Uh, whiskey and beer and uh, hanging out with, uh, you know, album battles. It's, it's, always, it's always fun. It always devolves into, uh, you know, some heavy opinions on music, which is, which is fun because it's, I like 
I like debates and you know discussion and you could even say arguments sometime about about music because at the end of the day it doesn't really matter and nobody should really have their feelings hurt it's just we can all like what we like and and defend it to the death <laughs> you know it's a good time and and no and nobody gets hurt Peter says, Alberta will get all the oddball bourbons and rise. Ontario gets the beam Buffalo Trace stuff. Oh, cool. Like on top of the box, they keep the blue label and Hennessy crap in. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go look. I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna go look at that. Maybe I'll take a little lunch break down to uh, Lacrosse tomorrow, and uh, and uh, make that happen. That would be great. Dustin says the other Tuesday channel is fun, but you can't chat and chill as easily. Yeah, yeah, you know it's it's you know junkies is fun, but junkies is more watching them as opposed to like interacting with other people. Uh, 21090 is a much more interactive thing, which is why I like it a lot. <laughs> Mark's saying thanks for the tip on making the Emerald Beast, the Grizzly Giant, the Rocket Beast. The uh, it's uh, yeah, it's a great, great blend. And it's easy to argue with Andy when he likes Taylor Swift and Max Tree Boys. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you know, loves Taylor Swift, hates Nirvana. It's Andy. <laughs> But Todd, you're here, so I'm going to bring up one that I know that you like. Uh, this one is probably the one I got the earliest in the year this year. And uh, I got it as part of a, I went to a tasting dinner that was held by Starks, my favorite local store. And it's the Starlight Cigar Batch. The bourbon finished in the Brazilian Amberana barrels. This stuff, I mean, I've, I am going as slow as I can on this. This is a bottle I hide and don't, don't leave in plain sight because it's one you crave. It's almost, it's like a, it's like a bottle of dessert, like Cinnabon, cinnamon roll, like apple cinnamon pie kind of thing. Um, super, super sweet, but not like overdo it like i don't know it's got this like savory element to it too with like oh it's so good and um i know there's been some other people that have had different this is a pick you know it's a single barrel uh, there's been other people that have had picks of this that didn't like it and i know amber on it you know there's a lot of people they're not the biggest fans of it i've discovered i i love it um you know and uh you know, other people were giving notes on it like, oh, it was just like a glass of perfume or it was whatever. And I, I was like, damn, dude, I don't get that at all. And then Todd was on 21090 and he was like, this is a cinnamon roll in a glass. And I'm like, yes, like, Todd, did we have the same barrel or something? Because this is like exactly his notes, what he was saying, was exactly what I was getting on it. I love this stuff. Uh, it's a Glen Wrecker. If you pour this in a Glen, that Glen is strictly for this for the rest of the night because it's, it's just clings to the glass. You got to wash that. You can't just rinse it. Uh, but it's also kind of nice too. Like I like drinking this and just having the Glen there. And I just go back and nose the empty Glen to get that. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I love this. I'm so glad I got two bottles of this. This is the first bottle. I've got the second one that I'll probably bunker. Uh, along with one of these red fifes and, uh, you know, pull out a year or two down the line or something when I can't find this anymore. This is, uh, yeah, Starlight Cigar Batch. Has anybody else had it here? Are me and Todd the only guys that like this? I don't know. Uh, I love it. I love it, though. Yeah, Todd, Todd knows what's up. It's just a beautiful bottle. Yeah, one of the best finished whiskeys of 2022. I, I mean, I think it's, yeah, I mean, I think it's, I mean, you might be able to call the next one finished. I wouldn't really consider it finished as much as, you know, double oaked, which I guess is finishing, but 
yeah, easily my favorite finished whiskey of the year. Yeah, deep cinnamons. Yeah, it's it's good. It really, it really, it's it packs a punch in there. It's fantastic. Give Todd all the Amberana barrels. You've got a rare character, Nulu and ASW. Wow. Yeah, I I need to get. You know, it, it's going to be one of them things I kind of look for now. Uh, I haven't seen any other. I haven't seen any other picks. I know this was a first fill pick. Um, I think Starlight will f- do up to three fills on it. And uh, Starks did get a second pick of this that I think was third fill. And I never got to try that one. But you could tell by looking at it, the color was much lighter too. I mean, this is a pretty deep color on this. And, uh, but from what I've heard, Amberana, you know, even on third fill, it's going gonna, it's gonna to put a lot of flavor in there. Starlight Cigar Match dropping in Alberta soon. It will sell out in less than a day. You should get in that line and get one if you can. Independent Joe doesn't like Ambrano, but his taste buds suck. Well, they're your buds, man. You got you got to love your buds. They're all they're the only buds you got. Tim, Tim, I agree with that. Uh, you wish they'd get off the cigar train. And and the funny thing is, is you know, is we got this as part of a tasting dinner, and it was uh, Bob from Starlight was the guy leading it. And, and I'd been to another dinner with him leading it before going through the tasting. And he gets to this because this was the main event of the tasting. You know, you do like a component thing where you go through all the different parts to make up Starlight Bourbon. And then he had a couple other finished ones. And then we get cigars, the last one. And, and he claims that they invented Cigar Batch at Starlight, which... I I don't buy it. You know, there there was a few audible like <laughs> in the room. <laughs> he said it, but you know, sales guy. He's just gonna say he's gonna say that you know they invented it and then everybody else got on the train. But I imagine just about every company that does a cigar batch is gonna say the same thing. Todd's gonna have a pour. Haha, <laughs> I've tempted you, but isn't it? isn't it one of those whiskeys Todd that you kind of like crave it's almost like food in that you you just get like a craving for it you're like oh yeah that would be real tasty right now barbarian is out at the life cal brew pub I'm gonna assume he meant to say local he's gonna come on and bug us in a bit well hey I hope you do I hope you do coffee cake and a glass yeah exactly exactly local <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Scott. Joseph Magnus would have a lot to say about that. All right, so next one was, I would say, uh, a very popular bottle this year among you know our general crew of whiskey drinkers on this side of the uh, whiskey tube pond with everybody seemed to love this that got it. And I loved it too. I, I actually opened it for the first time on uh, an independent Joe stream and it blew me away. Like literally the first sip was like, holy fuck, almost in a bad way. <laughs> and then your palate acclimates and you're, you're ready for the beat down that it's going to give you. And then it opens up into uh, chocolate and just deep um, rye spice. If you know, you know, and if you don't, it's the old Dragon Bones from Storytime Distilling. This is, as you can see there, 16 years old, hazmat, double oaked rye. It's insane. I have drank this a bunch of times, but I drink a little bit at a time because you don't need much. There's a lot of booze in there. And it's one of them drinks that like, you feel it as soon as you start drinking it. Um, so good, so good. So much flavor in there. Uh, if you missed out on the first run, from what I'm hearing, there will be future runs of it. Uh, Shane has said that they are doing, there will be another batch of old Dragon Bones. 
but you're going to want to get in line fast on that or, you know, get on the email list, sign up for the Authors Guild if this is something you're interested in and you're not already a part of it because it's going to go fast. This this shit is bonkers good. It, it I, I don't know. It's people that have had it know what I'm saying. Uh, just deep, deep chocolate and so much, so much flavor, so much heat, but... As you drink it, it like mellows out and doesn't scorch you. Like I've had other hazmats, uh, you know, like hazmat like light whiskeys and stuff that the heat never really seems to let up as you go as you go through it. This stuff kind of coats the palate and you become acclimated to it and you can really start picking out flavors. You can add a little bit of water into it too to uh, pull out some uh, some more notes with it if, you, if that's your jam. Uh, Mike Stahl at Livewire says it makes a hell of an old fashioned. I haven't tried that yet, but I'd like to. Maybe this Saturday I'll do that. It's Royal Rumble on Saturday. I'll be watching wrestling all night. I might as well uh, make a burly ass old fashioned with this burly boy of a bottle. The old Dragon Bones. The only rye on the list, but a very, very worthy rye. This is a uh, love this shit. Great job, Shane. Shane Long, Storytime Distilling. Let's see. Tim's had it. Fucking mouse, come on. There we go. Great pour. Yeah, yeah, very good shit. Peter White saying the Dalmore Cigar Malt was released in 2005. 80 proof crap. Well, never had it. It's like stag. Yeah, that's a great way to describe it, Tim where it's it's a punch i mean it's a punch but it's it's not just a punch there's been some of those you know hazmat light whiskeys where the only thing you're getting out of it is the punch it's the gasoline it's the time travel juice you know gas up gas up the spaceship you're blasting off jh you didn't get a bottle oh man well you should get on the story time distilling and uh Get ready for the next round when that's coming out, because it's uh. Did you ever get a sample of it, Jay? I thought, I thought you had been talking about really, really like it, liking it. That might have been. Maybe that was Jake that was saying it. Maybe, maybe I'm getting my Jays and my Jakes mixed up. Gordo wants some Friday at Fred's. Yeah, yeah. Well, Gordo, I just found out yesterday in the uh, whiskey group we're in on Facebook that Starks did a cognac finished Jepsons too. And Alex just forgot to post about it because somebody posted a picture. I'm like, what the fuck? How did I not know about this? And I'm like scouring through the uh, Instagram and Facebook for Starks. Like it's, it's not on here. And then Alex commented back and he, he's like, I'm fine for the review. I forgot to publish this one. So uh, there is, Cognac finish Jepsons at Starks right now, which is what the Friday at Fred's batch is. Wade Riggs, what's up, man? Thanks for being here. Your favorite of the year was the JD Twice Barreled. Heard good things about that. Never, never even saw it anywhere near me, but uh, heard great things. Rich Z dropping that story time website. 60 yards, what's up, Faz? Good to see you, bud. Jay is on the list. Yeah, get be watching that email. Oh, Jake sent you a sample of the ODB? Yeah. That's a, that's a good one. Probably not one to jump on, like, fresh off of a sabbatical from drinking. You might want to warm up to that, but uh, I think you're, I think you're going to like it. Peter says, Lot 40 cast, cast strength rye port finish will be, will be, I need to drink more. Will be released soon in Canada. Supposed to be a winner. I think I've heard the moose talk about the Lot 40s before and enjoying those. It's, um, I don't think I've ever had a Lot 40. I think I've seen it around, but I don't, I don't think I've ever had it. Got to make another run down to the prairie. Yeah, man. 
gotta get down there I, I i need to i need to get down there i gotta get one of those bottles i'll probably still get the friday at fred's but um i want to get one from alex too and i just like stopping down there saying hi to everybody vic's talking hockey let's go ducks quack quack mr ducksworth Yeah, that's that sample's gonna be waiting a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, as it as it probably should. That's a smart move. Okay, I'm looking at my table, trying to get organized here, flying off the cuff. Those have all been spoken about. Okay, we're down to two. And you know, while I said uh, these first six on the list were not really ranked. If I were to rank them, this next one would be like my second place of the year because it was for the longest time going to be my first place of the year until I had what is my first place. This is one that uh, caught a lot of hype out of the Las Vegas whiskey tube meetup that went down in 2022. Everybody seemed to be loving it. When I went down to Kentucky, I was able to find this at the Jim Beam Distillery Bar and have a pour of it. And uh, as Adriana would say, there was a shimmy. I, I was, I was loving it. I just, I just started laughing when I drank it. You know, you know, every, like something's just so good. You just kind of laugh. You're just like, what the fuck? Uh, some of you already know, those of you don't. Hardens Creek, Jacob's Well. I gotta get this giant ass beer can in focus, man. Jacob's Well. This stuff, I'm, I'm a huge fan of old granddad. I love old granddad stuff. And basically what this is, is some really aged old granddad. Uh, it comes in at 108 proof. It is a cool looking presentation. I mean, it's got the, the big tin Ooh, bottle looks real nice. It's got some kind of leather crap on the top of it. You know, uh, I'm going to have a little bit of this actually. But you know, I've heard a lot of people talk about this one wondering if it's just basically, you know, akin to like a Knob Creek 15. And it's really. While it is, I mean, it's beam, you know, it's beam. There's going to be that nuttiness. To me, it's got that different profile of the, of the old granddad, where to me, old granddad comes off like, it's got a marshmallowy note to it that I really like. Uh, it it kind of comes like, it's, it's like fluffernutter, for those of you in the know. The marshmallow peanut butter sandwich. I've never actually eaten a fluffernutter sandwich. I've had some sort of treat that was the peanut butter and marshmallow though. And like, that's what this is. Oh, I mean, the nose on it is just beautiful. I love it. There's a thing in here preventing me from, there we go. Just go to your home. All right. It's, it's been re-secured. This nose. It's just so like so present but soft. You know, there's no rough edges on it. It's not spiky. It's not stinging you. It's over a hundred proof, and it still is just that super smooth peanut butter. Yeah, and the mouthfeel on it is just—it's so good. It's just really full, thick, coating mouthfeel. All that, you know, that beam nuttiness, but with that sweet, powdered sugary marshmallow kind of thing. And then it finishes with the oak from that age. It's fantastic. Really good whiskey. I know, I know uh, a lot of people that had this as their favorite of the year. And uh, it's... Uh, oh. It's good. I, mean, I did not think anything was going to eclipse this this year as far as I was going to get. You know, like I said, I, I don't get 
the four gates and the shit that everybody else raves over. I just, I just don't get it here. So for me, this was, I bought this for myself for my birthday, actually, with the help of uh, Burben. He actually tracked it down for me because he had found one, one or two locally and the price on them kind of stunk. And then he being Ben put in the legwork and found an online retailer that would ship to me that had it at a proper price with decent shipping. And there you have it. Winds up at my door and I can drink it for my birthday, which was, uh, which was a wonderful treat. I'm so glad I got myself. This. Uh, if you get a chance, if you see this in a bar, buy it, uh, it's expensive. So I can't say just like run out and buy it unless you're a big fan of the beam, you know, profiles. If you're a big OGD fan, uh, if you like that nuttiness, I'd say it's a buy, you know, uh, you know, untasted, I would say it's a buy, but you know, if you find a whiskey bar with this on the shelf and you've never had it, just, just get a pour of it. I think you'll like it. And if you don't, you don't, <laughs> but I, I can't see, especially if you're a beam fan, not liking this. I've got no idea. You got to be careful too, because there is the Jacob's well is the one that I'm talking about. There's another one. I forget what it's called, but it's only like two years old. I've never had that one. And it's like 60 some dollars, I think for two year old whiskey, which seems a little strange to me. I don't know about that, but I've never had it. Could be good, but I can vouch for Jacob's well. My number two whiskey of 2022. Hey, Mark Mace, what's up, man? Thanks for coming through. Appreciate you. Top two. That's right. Flex it up. I'm no T-Rob, you know. I don't, I don't have the guns like that. Richie Z poured and revisited the Booker's Pinkies batch tonight, and it's pretty darn good. Which one is that? Is that, um, what, like, number is that? I heard somebody else talk about that, and I'm like, I don't even remember hearing that name. Is that one of the new ones? The kid who played Little Gordon Bombay in Mighty Ducks is now a Bitcoin billionaire. Damn, dude. That's, what a life. You get to be young Emilio Estevez in a movie, and then you become a Bitcoin billionaire. That's, that's like, that's on some like Forrest Gump shit, man. That's, that's pretty crazy. DMC never saw the canister before. Did have a pour of it at a bar though. Yeah. Yeah, I think the canister is cool. I've seen some some pictures of it on shelves where they don't have the canister with it though. And I would be I'd be asking for the canister. Normally I don't care about tubes. I mean, in typical it's a bit I've done forever where when I take something out of a tube, I just throw the tube. So there is a dent in it. I don't know. Yeah, you can kind of see the dent there from when I chucked it on my birthday. But this is a tube I'll actually keep. Um, you know, it's a metal tube. You put whatever, you put anything in here. You can hide your weed in there, man. <laughs> if you remember that SNL skit. This mouse, man. I got another mouse I'm going to try hooking up next week. Richie Z had an ounce or so from Adriana. Incredible. Would be in the top five if you had a bottle. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody I've heard that's had it has really enjoyed it. Tony Two Toes, OGD, Bottled Bond, the goat of affordable bottles. Hey, man, I can, I can get with you on that. Uh, I'm a, I'm a uh, 114 man myself because around here, we still get that shit cheap. I know in other places the price has gone up quite a bit, but I think I'm, just getting, I'm still seeing it sub $25 around here for 114 proof whiskey. Come on, man. But yeah, the Bottled and Bond, also great. Also great. Can't get the XYZ, but gets that hitter. <laughs> yeah, life is good. Yeah. It's, um, you know, it's like, I, I'm not getting the, uh, I'm not getting the ones that like people are going to rave. Nobody's going to write me about this list and be upset. <laughs> I think like some other channels have had to deal with like, Oh, I'll never find that. You know, it's no WLW. It's no, you know, BTAC. It's, it's none of that, but it's great. It's, it's really, it's, it's great, great fucking whiskey. Great list of bottles, and there's only one left. 
Arden's Creek, buy it retail all day? For sure, for sure. If I see another one, I'll probably pick it up. Uh, if it's at retail or just slightly above. Number one for 2022 for Big Whiff. Lo Big Vic loves those nuts in his mouth. <laughs> hey, man, you and me both. You and me both. Not Rowan's Creek, no. That label won't allow me to buy that bottle. I'm going to, like, you know, if I ever buy that bottle, I'm just going to, like, rip the label off immediately. Tommy D, what's up, man? Good to see you. Good to see you. Got that old style in the picture now these days. That's great. It's from right down the street. I smelled old style my whole life growing up. When the wind hit just right, the brewery air blew it right at us. 175 High West bottles today. I've never seen that. Anybody else seen that? That's pretty fucking wild. The Jacob's Well is almost 80 in Ohio. If that's true, I'm going to go to Ohio and buy all of it. Um, I think you might be thinking the, the other Hardin's Creek. Because it... Because I think that one, the two-year, is like that much. You know, 60 to 80 from what I've seen it. This was more than that. And if that's the case, if you're seeing Jacob's Well for 80, you should buy that. <laughs> and you should buy another one and send it to me. Leather thing's annoying when pouring, but... But otherwise, a great burn. Yeah, you know, it's got the accoutrement, you know, the, fa the fancy pants stuff. Um, I'm not a big fan of neck tags in general on things. Uh, but, I, I, you know, you just kind of kind of hold it back and do what you do. We got hockey talk. We got Jake saying OGD114 is allocated in your area. Whoa. That sucks, dude. I, I think I am going to buy a case of OGD114. Just to have, you know, since I can still get it so cheap, just to just to keep, just buy six bottles of it and just just have it on hand. Because who knows, who knows when that allocation is going to hit my area as well, or that price is going to shoot through the roof, and all of a sudden we aren't finding it anymore. Uh, I shudder to think. That's legit one of my favorite whiskeys. You know, beautiful. What's up, Trish? Whiskey Eyes, how you doing? Haven't seen you in a while. Arns Creek's rotting on the shelf there at 149 for the Jacobs Well. You know, I mean, that's a, I think that's retail. Tommy D is doing a port battle. Chattanooga Port versus Isaac Bowman Port. Both are almost gone, so you might as well. Hey, last week I did a port battle. Uh, I, Isaac Bowman Port was in there. I don't have Chattanooga Port, though. I've only had the Chattanooga 111. James B. Beam. Rhodes Creek was a guest of the two-year-old bourbon you were talking about. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no. The, uh, yeah, Rowan's Creek. Ugh. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. I've never had it. It's, it's Willet. It's Will It Made, and it has the ugliest fucking label I've ever seen. It's like a child's drawing, and I, they put a child's drawing on a wine bottle. Only worse than neck tags or neck beards. I got, I got a hell of a neck beard right now. Because I've been meaning to go to the barber and get this, uh, you know, my, the hedge shorn here. I'm going to do a little hair trim as well. Shape it up. OGD-114, not available in Nebraska. God damn. That's crazy. Jake's getting more bookers than OGD-114. Wow. See, we still get it. Exactly, Richie. You know, I, I love 114. I, I always need to have a bottle of that on hand. It's a perfect daily drinker, especially when I was getting it for under 20 bucks. I mean, that was unbeatable. Unbeatable. All right, we're caught up. We're caught up. We're here. It's the main event. It's the final. The number one whiskey for me of 2022. Some people will agree with this. Some people won't. It's personal preference, man. I, what can I tell you? Uh, this one I picked up in a lottery at a store. Uh, 
somewhat local to me. I had to put in a little drive in that day, but I was very happy with my haul that I that I brought home that day. I got this bottle as well as a blue spot. Uh, I got the uh, Malort Malornament set. I got a red breast bird feeder. Yeah, it was a great day. It was a great day. But the you know number one thing I grabbed that day, and my number one bourbon of 2022 it's the woodford reserve batch proof 118.4 i got this on recommendation from other people that had had it and you know i knew going into the raffle like it wasn't first on my list but it's like if i get picked you know in the like 15 to 20 range i bet you that's still going to be there and it was and I just took a swing at it because other people that had had it had said it was great. I've never been a huge Woodford fan. I feel like it's decent, but it's always lacking something to me. It's always, it's watery. It's, it's not, I don't know. It's just never wowed me. It's, it's the perfect, like passable bourbon. There's a reason it's, it's the bourbon, like at every airport lounge or every wedding or, you know, it's, it's Woodford. They're just going to have it everywhere. This is everything I've always wanted Woodford Reserve to be. Uh, The first taste on it, I was blown away by it. Just the amount of flavor, the deep like brown sugar notes I was getting on it, and the the mouthfeel. I mean, it was, it's, it's like, God, why can't it always (laughs) just be like this? It, it, it put Woodford like in a different bracket for me than, than previously. Cause it's just, like I said, you know, Woodford, it just has always been kind of blah. And this is not blah. This is great. Uh, I've heard previous years, previous years were higher proof. And I've heard those are even better than this, but I do know some other people that, have, that also picked this as their number one this year. And, uh, I, I love this shit. I'm going to pour some. I mean, why wouldn't they? We're talking about it. We're talking about it. I got Glenn's here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So much of like a dark brown sugary caramel. And again, a little bit of that... uh, you know, a sweetness, almost like a, you know, confectioner's sugar, similar to what you find in a, uh, in a uh, Old Forester 1910 almost, that, that type of, uh, that powdered sugary thing. Mm, just, just well-rounded, well-balanced. Yeah. It's good. It's just good. You know, it's, it's got a heat that you never get on Woodford. Um, that depth of flavor, the coating of the palate on it. And it just, it leaves the tingle behind. It's just, why can't all Woodford be like this? Why can't there be just a regular release barrel proof Woodford, you know? And the finish hits you with the oak. You know, I've heard, um, I think it was Jason, uh, Mash and Drum, had talked about this. I was just on a stream, watching him on a stream one night. And he talked about this. He said it was going to be like in his in his top whiskeys, and then he retasted it against other things. And he's like, you can tell there's some youth to it. And I agree with that. But the overall flavor and the surprise factor of it, I just... I was blown away by it. It's my favorite. My favorite of the year. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's it. That's it. I don't know. Have any of you guys had this one? Let me know. Let's see. I, oh, fuck. This thing is just, just jumping on me, man. Hey, what's up, Sean? Whiskey Wars. What's up, man? Good to see you. Pappy. Is that, was that your guess? That was that was going to be the number one. 
Another tougher to find compared to previous years. Yeah, that stinks, man. Um, yeah, I, I hope I can find more of this or, you know, just future years be able to find some more. JH agreeing that that's his, that's his number one as well. Yeah, Big Vic likes it. Good, good Woodford barrel proof. Uh, let's see. Damn, jumping. Get a 2019 Woodford that was okay. Good. Yeah. Um, like I said, this is the first one I've had of them. You got to kind of be careful too, because like in this bottle style, don't they also do like these other weird limited releases that nobody ever likes? Like weird master distiller, some shit. Like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, the batch proof though. Tasty. The very fine and rare Woodford I thought was amazing. I've never even heard of that, honestly, Tim. That's that sounds pretty uh that sounds that sounds delightful. Hey Carlito, man, what's up? Good to see you. Woodfurl's always been blah to you, so he's underwhelmed by the double oaks. Got what cardboard on it, but everyone else loves it. Yeah, I'm not a Woodford double oak guy. Um I know a lot of people say like Woodford Double Oak is they're like gateway bourbon that gets them into bourbon. I don't know if it's because I had 1910 before I ever had Woodford Double Oak, but I was expecting good things just based on, you know, people saying like, oh, this is really good. I really like it. Uh, opened it. Disappointment, man. I, I've had a pick of it that I won on Women of Whiskeys that was really good, though. You know, uh, that one was just all milk chocolate. Really tasty. I brought it over to a uh, a gathering. I think it was like a Christmas thing that year at uh, at my girl's parents' house. And uh, it's a room full of non-whiskey drinkers, and that bottle went away. You know, we, we killed it that night. I think the 118.4 tastes like an amazing JD single barrel barrel proof. I could kind of see that. I don't really catch the banana thing on it like I do with the single barrel barrel proof that I have. But yeah, I mean similar. There's some similarities there. I can see what what you're what you're putting down there. Hey Mike Franklin, what's up man? Good to see you. Eric, you're here. What did you miss? Uh you missed the whole list. But the best thing about YouTube is that you can rewind and catch the whole thing. Carlito brings up a very interesting topic here. Uh, you see, I, I got the Gatsby back there, you know? Uh, if I were to make my, I don't want to say disappointing, but whiskey I would definitely not buy again, Remus Gatsby would be that whiskey. Um, I bought that the day after my birthday stream where I did a bottle giveaway. So I, I made some money on that. I heard that, and on that stream, I gave away Remus 6. And then someone said at the local store, at our Woodman's, there was Remus. And I was like, oh, that'd be funny. You know, I got the money from giving away Remus 6 last night. I can just go buy another one right now. So I'll have one. I go in there. It wasn't Remus 6. It was Remus Gatsby. And it was like, shit. This type of shit just doesn't happen to me. This doesn't fall into my lap like this. I've got the money from it for it. I'll buy it and I will sample it out to people, which is what I did with a lot of it. Um, bring it out at bottle shares. I sent samples to a lot of people in the community. It's not bad. It's just not worth what they charge for it. Beautiful bottle, beautiful presentation, good whiskey. I was really hopeful because the, the thing with it is it's low proof, but it's barrel strength. And the only other one I've ever had that's like that was the first master's keep, the 17 year, not the bottle and bond, the 17 year barrel proof one that was low proof, but barrel strength. And there was so much flavor in that bottle. I love that bottle. And I was hoping for like a similar experience here. It just didn't come through like that for me. Um, other people I know that have had it. I helped procure bottles for um, two guys that are probably still here. Uh, 
Scott and Ben, they both, I mean, this, that's the, I think that's the wildest story for me of 2022 whiskey wise is that I bought three bottles of Remus Gatsby, one for myself and two, two for friends. Um, it's, uh, it just wasn't, you know, was not what I was hoping it would be. I like it better than the Volstead. I got to try the Volstead. My friend had a bottle of that. I do like it better than the Remus Volstead, but would not recommend buying it unless you're like a hardcore, you know, collector. Um, or you know, even then, I, I don't know. I don't know. That. Scott, I think that's the best way to put it. Scott is one of the people I got the bottle for. Underwhelming whiskey of the year would be Remus Gatsby. Yeah. Good, but not, didn't have the hype, you know, or didn't live up to the hype, I'd say. I still never have had Remus 6 because the one bottle I got, I gave away. Um, but, yeah, if you're saying – that's kind of the consensus I've heard, too, is that was kind of a drop-off from – I mean, Remus 5 – People love the shit out of that bottle. That's like an all timer for some people. So, uh, you know, I, you, you can expect kind of a drop off, you know, that people are not going to be so in love with it. But overall reviews on it on Remus 6, not hearing great stuff. Carly has been hearing pretty much the same. I would not hunt it, man. I would not. If you see, if you're in a bar and they have it, I mean, pour is going to be really fucking expensive. But if you got to try it, that's, you know, go for it there. See, Richie disagrees. Says Remus Repeal 6 is surprisingly good. So, you know, let's say, uh, let's say, uh, uh, you know, just, uh, I guess how palettes differ. Because you know what? The reason I gave away re my Remus 6 is because I did not love Remus 5 like everyone else did. I like it. I still have most of my bottle of it. I like the three better than the five. Good, but like didn't blow me away, you know. Jason C made a good point that Remus Five was an anniversary blend and probably better quality. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Remus Three, yeah, that's that's my favorite. I mean, I've only had three and five are the only two I've had, but. But three, three takes it for me, for sure. All right. You've, you've heard me fucking babble enough tonight. Let's have some other people fucking babble at you, too. Uh, link is dropped. Let me pin that link. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. If you haven't, hit that like button. I appreciate you sitting and listening to my nonsense opinions on whiskeys you know that's why i said these, these are just my favorites of the year i'm not saying these are the best whiskeys or whiskeys you must go buy these are just things i really liked over the last year and and was very happy to be able to procure and drink and enjoy them here's a here's a here's a happy looking guy jumping in in the back room eric the barbarian what's, what's up, up man? gang you got that buzzard roost cigar rye you said yeah i'm drinking buzzard roost cigar rye i've, I've been i'm trying not to Trying not to overdrink it, although the 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 liquor store here in town two days ago it was eight deep, so I'm, I think I'm probably good. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. You don't ever see you don't see a lot of people looking at the rye section, not ever. Right, right. And I mean, that's... I would actually I would actually say that I think at this point, right now in my journey and all this, I'm a I'm more of a rye fan than I am a bourbon fan. Really? Yeah, I I just think that there's so much more variation in between rise. Yeah, I I I could um I could see that. Yeah, there. I mean, there can be a lot. My friend, my friend uh, Christopher, he always says, you know, it's it's not a one to one comparison, but he calls no, and he's right. He he calls rye like America's Scotch, to where it's like there's so much different. Yeah profiles within it and it's it's just you know it's just a different fucking animal that's, that's a really good definition it really is and, it, and also because it's so much different than canadian rye right 
Right. So I think that's a really good definition. It's America's scotch. Yeah, it's like it doesn't taste like scotch or whatever, but it's just no. kind of the, you know, no, the, the differences there's and the regions. There's and, a, yeah, there's a wide different. There's a yeah. wide variation in how they taste. Hey, what's up, Adam? What's up, Adam? Good list, man. Hey, thanks, man. Heard really good things about that Woodford bastard. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's tasty. I'm sitting here drinking my one and two right now, and I still my opinion still stands strong on the ranking of them. But uh, but yeah, both of them killer. What are you drinking on? I'm trying to rum that uh, the rail oh. set. This thing's a lost cask four square. I've never had a four square. Twenty three year, hundred eighteen proof. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, and I'm drinking it in my. Uh, what up, Slap? Oh, you got the you got the up. official, the official glassware. Yeah, dude. Nice. Ryan, you sipping on water? I'm on water still. Ah oh, man. Bummer. I'm on water till like April. Oh wow. You're taking that dry January and really like going to town on it, huh? <laughs> Mm, yeah. Not not Doctor. because he wants to. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. Not Force because I it. want to. Yeah. You should do a uh, a ranking of bottled waters. <laughs> and then Des- Dasani can come in last cuz Jesus. <laughs> Tastes like water that's been inside of a super soaker. Uh yeah. Oh, come on. On. That sounds awful. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. How you doing, man? Good. Hey. I'm a I'm a bachelor tonight. Oh wow! Wife is out with the girls. Oh, me just me and the dog. I guess I'm not a bachelor. You can let it all hang out then. What are sure. you drinking on? Uh, I'm still doing. The, I got the Chattanooga against the Isaac Bowman, and for kind of like a control to kind of get away from the port, I got a. I I found this in my basement the other day. It's a it's an old Forester eighty six. It's a liter bottle. And the only reason I bought it because it was twenty bucks. Nice. And I, I forgot I put it downstairs in the basement in the bunker and hadn't had it yet. And I found it the other day and brought it up and went, got to open it. Mm-hmm. So I wanted a low proof to kind of just help me balance out the difference in the ports and stuff. So, but holy shit, it's that banana, that mm-hmm. candy banana on there. I was like, damn. Yep. It's probably the lowest proof old force I've ever had, but. Just, it's really good. I'm shocked. I'm well, surprised. I almost, I almost the other day. I almost bought a, a, a base level Forester. They had them for, they had them for sixteen dollars. Yeah. Is oh. it the eighty six or what? Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm surprised. I mean, it's it's it's, it's good. Decent stuff. Yeah. It's it's not bad. I just uh. 86 I'm, I'm such a proof institute now i just hate the fact <laughs> I can't. It, it's good to kind of get it in your mouth and kind of get your mouth accustomed to whiskey instead of other things Eric. <laughs> and then um and then what uh, other things <laughs> i don't know it's kind of a good starter i think yeah i've never had the 86 i've, I've had the 100 though and i do like the 100 the, the oh, base 100 that, that their the their base 100 proof Signature hundred, yeah, the signature. yeah, like with the orange, That's really good. Yeah, yeah, but it would be. Yeah, that is good. Yeah, you know, like good cheap one. bottle. You don't feel bad about killing. This is one, yeah. one of my beginner ones that I tried, but I don't like them anymore. I don't like the hundred anymore. Really? Yeah. Just changed on you or what? Yeah, like going back to it compared to like even Evan Williams bottled and bond. I think it doesn't really compare. <clears throat> That's well, another one I haven't tried just because I've got a bottle. I've got a bottle of Evan Williams bottle and bond downstairs. And that used to be my like go to, but it just now it seems so thin. It is. Yeah. Thin. It's, it's my, it's the whiskey. I like, you know, like Tommy said, you get some whiskey in your mouth, you know, get going. This is what I drink before the stream, you know, yeah, the current it, bottle. Cause I'm, I'm yeah. picking these short bottles and kind of trying to get rid of them. Um, yeah, I've got it. And this one, it's like it. I'll be able to find a million of these again. I don't care if I can. Right. Um, yeah. yeah. It's it's fine, but it's not great. You know. It's not even one. I of the agree best on the thinness of it. Hey Dan, did you send me this Tripless Glen sample? Is this from you? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I, I tried that. VDM finished? What is that? Uh, the, the It's like the orange wine. Yeah, VDM finish. The, it's the Bourbon de oh. Naranja, whatever. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Bourbon de Naranja. Oh, so it's uh, it, it's like macerated orange peel wine or some shit like that. Should I try to make more this? Uh, wine. Check out Dan and really his, his, really his, his, his craps yeah. of, the, of the Spanish language. Hell yeah. Yeah, I, I don't. I I never took Spanish. So I just fake it. But you did that. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Have you had the Penelope Valencia, Adam? No, never tried. Is that pretty similar? Yeah, it's the same. It's the same uh, finish, VDN finish on it. Uh, oh, okay. The, the Valencia is dangerous, man. Um, I did a stream actually where I compared those two. I picked the Penelope over the, the drift list that night, but I was like. I was just thinking about it earlier today because I was like, if I had honorable mentions on my list, that Valencia would be one of them. Yeah. Um, when I had it that night off the fresh crack, I was like, this is really good, but it's one of those ones like you have one of them. You know, it's pretty uh, pretty powerful on the finish. And then the next time I had it, I crushed half a bottle of it. <laughs> like while we were just <laughs> hanging out. Like it was just like, holy shit, this is crushable. Like this is this is dangerous. I don't know. I might have sent you some of that slap shot. I don't know. Uh, I don't know because because you're not you're not drinking currently. But... Yeah, I haven't. I I stuck I stuck them in the corner. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't put that. I know. Make sure Gizmo you know, doesn't I... get into him. Yeah, he he's here now. <laughs> he's like That's my people are calling me. Gizmo, <laughs> caca. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I got a handful of things now that I have sitting here waiting for the, the go ahead. <laughs> yeah, man. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully you get that green light. Hopefully yeah. before April. That'd be nice. Yeah. But hey, drying out ain't the worst either. No. Nah, I mean, when I go to go to the meetup at, in Cheech's, I'm going to have, have, have a little bit, but not, yeah, yeah. not go crazy. Yeah, I'm being so good till then. I'm on my nice low fat diet, eating bland ass shit. <laughs> so, w speaking of that slap shot, what would be the one you would drink? You have any idea? Like at Cheats Meetup? Yeah. Oh, I have no idea. Can yeah, you don't know until you look at them all. <laughs> yeah, no, I gotta know, know what's there. I didn't know if you were hoping something would be there. If you're nah, I, I guess what would be the one? There, you'd drink? I'm sure there'll be something. It, it, basically, that's. Anything I haven't had is on that list. I mean, I don't, I'm, I don't give a shit what it is. If I haven't had it, I want to try it. So I don't care if yeah. it's a, if it's a twenty nine ninety nine bottle or a six thousand dollar bottle. And if I haven't had it, I want to try it. Try yeah, it. yeah. I think I, know I think if you're dry, if you're dry for a while, it's kind of hard, right? Like the first drink you have, especially right. if it's something good, like. I yeah, it's gonna hit you so hard. You're gonna be like, "Oh shit!" Like that. Just, like, <laughs> well, it's like I said to Kranz earlier when he said he got that that um, sample of old Dragon Bones. It's like that should not be your first drink back. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> oh no. Well, I should. What I should. I'll I'll pack something like a little mini bottle of something to mm -hmm. to warm up with. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, a little a uh, little beam white label. Use it like yeah, a mouthwash. Gargle it. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't have, I don't have Beam White Label in my house. I don't either. I do. I, mean, you, I used to. I used to have at least one bottle always. And now, Actually, since, no, like I, since, since I've been able to get Distiller's Cut, Distiller's Cut's 100 proof Beam White Label, and it's much better. Yeah, oh, I've never yeah. had that one yet. <clears throat> so the weekend I, coming back off of Cheech's thing, uh, like uh, March 12th, my neighbor, she's... Uh, She's head of a, a local town. Um, what do you call it? Um, Neighborhood watch. Chamber. No, the chamber. Uh, Commerce, chamber of chamber. Commerce. Yeah, chamber of commerce. And so she's putting on a, a casino night to raise funds and stuff. Oh, and cool. I, I, last year I helped her with the bartending, and I wasn't making. We were just making mixed drinks and maybe an old fashioned or whatever. Usually it's just crown and coke. Mm -hmm. But she bought like two giant one seven fives of Jim Beam, and. Wild Turkey 101. And uh, I still got the Wild Turkey 101 and the Jim Beam I just gave to my kids <laughs> last month. 
to take up because it hadn't been opened yet. I so, just handed out at the local high school. It's almost, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's almost a year that I had that bottle and never opened it for a reason. As a What's disclaimer, up, those of us at Cheers. Deathless Dogs do not endorse the idea of giving alcohol to minors. Mm-mm. Oh, when I say kids, my kids are 25 and 26. So Yes. No, some <laughs> asshole made a joke about giving it away to the high school. I don't know, but I just, wanted oh. to, <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to do that disclaimer after that idiot did that. Oh, that oh was do you see that, Eric? The uh, uh, distiller's cut is discontinued, apparently. Dude, so no. If you, if you like okay. it, get it while you whiskey can. Got, so that was whiskey uncensored, right? Yeah. Whiskey yeah. uncensored. I live literally 90 feet from a, a uh, convenience store that the owner back in 2017 had a bottle of distiller's cut and decided he loved it and ordered so many cases of it that they still have tons of cases of it. I can buy it anytime I want. That's awesome. <laughs> I, I at times I've had six bottles of it downstairs. So if anybody's interested <laughs> in one, I'll get it and send you a sample. Or if you want to, we can do a we can do a hand delivery or something. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's Ben. Sorry. Yeah, that's for that's, Ben. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's discontinued, but I still live in a place where somebody bought it and. I've got access to, I've, I've never not, it's, it's over there like three deep right now. <laughs> yeah. For some reason, this guy just, that was his favorite bourbon. That's pretty awesome though, that he just bought a ton of it. He bought a shitload of just it. Bought like an end caps <laughs> worth of. Yeah. Dude, he, he built bought, a big display. You know, like, <laughs> I love this. I'm buying a lifetime supply. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jim, Jim Beam distiller cut? Is that what it is? It's a Jim Beam distiller's cut. And it is, it's really good. It's a oh, hundred yeah. proof Jim Beam. And it's it's just, I, I I honestly believe it's white label at a hundred at a hundred proof. That's all it really is. And it's really good. How much does it cost? Uh twenty six dollars a bottle. Oh shit. Yeah, so if anybody wants one, I'll, I'll send you one. I, you know, we can work out full bottles, samples, whatever. I might take you up on that. I, I got to look around and see if I can find it anywhere here. Eric, you say you don't get Cooper's Craft down there, do you? No. No. No, I've never. No, Cooper's Craft just is nowhere here. Not even at Specs. And Specs is like, that's a big ass liquor store. <laughs> You get it, Tommy D, don't you? I do. I have to do a little deal. Okay. We can deal. Wheeling and dealing. I'm all about dealing. Well, over here, Cooper's Craft 100, I get it for 29 bucks. So just send a bottle. Yeah, we could just do it. We could just do a trade. Let's do a little one for one. We could do a hostage exchange. I already have, <laughs> I already have your address, too, Eric. So. Okay. I don't. I don't have yours. No, I would send it to you. Then you would have it. Tim, I liked that repeal batch beam. That was like no. salted peanuts. The one oh. that was weird was the Jim Beam Ghost. Oh, Never had it. It was clear. The oh, white whiskey. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was, was there, good. Because it, it tasted there. like bur. It tasted like bourbon, but it had no color. Yeah, it was. So like it you was, close your eyes, it tasted like bourbon, but you open your eyes, and you're like, that's not right. <laughs> So really? it, it, that's weird. How do they I, even do that? So it wasn't like white dog. I don't know. It was just that's what I, I don't was know. If, it was. I don't know exactly what it was. I just What's I only bought it because it had like a ghostly face on the bottle. Yeah. Remember, so, as long as they put as long as remember. they put it in a in a in a virgin oak barrel for sixty seconds, it's bourbon. Five seconds. Yeah, but if it's if it if it yeah, tastes, you're right. Like, How can it taste? Like that? Yeah, I don't know what they did. Huh. And oh, it, no. it was, I think I had it in like 2015, so it was a while ago. No, I know the, the tribe guys, or whatever it was. The tribe guys took some stuff that was burnt yes. colored and they redistilled it and it came out clear, but Phoenix. it had the same tape. Yeah, Phoenix. oh, that must be what was, they did. Yeah. It was their I'm Phoenix. Maybe. Maybe. I can't see wow. Beam doing I'm now wondering yeah. if Jake's maybe Jim that, Beam that was their white that. dog. I was, it, it, t- it didn't taste like white dog, right? The- <laughs> And and the stuff that the stuff that a whiskey tribe did, 
they don't even they they can uh, you could get an 11 year old bourbon redistill it store it for another two years and it would be a 13 year old bourbon as long as it reached 11 the way it's supposed to that's the age of it yeah i that was very interesting carbon filter to strip the color oh well, you can still do it there jay yeah <laughs> yeah, you Let's could have two Cooper's crafts. <laughs> They're good. I, I They're wouldn't really be good. mad at having two Cooper's crafts. Okay, we don't, Jay, they don't. Jay, they don't Jay, have I it around here. I, I don't know why. Get two of them. We we should all talk because I can go over and get. Like I said, right now, yesterday there were three on the shelf, and she told me they've still got a bunch of them back in the warehouse. So I'm not worried about it. I got to go shopping tomorrow anyway for somebody else. So. Tomorrow's going to be expensive. Yeah, it was, according to this, I just looked it up on Whiskey Jug. It says trunk? it was lightly aged. Whatever slightly. the hell that means. No, lightly. lightly. So whatever the hell that means. Oh, the Ooh. ghost with other white whiskey. One of the most difference between the ghost and other white whiskeys is that the one spent one year getting cozy with a barrel. compared. So they aged it for a year in a barrel. Oh, wow. Hmm. <clears throat> but it still came out white. That's not. White, yeah, it was though. still pretty clear. Yeah. It must be. It must have been lightly toasted. If yeah, not, if toasted it, at it, all. It, it wasn't. It wasn't a three or four char. There's no way. No, 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 no. Was it for well, sure it could like have been not though? toasted because no, of like a new barrel or was it a used? Yeah, Gordon, I was me say. too, man. I wanted one of those. Uh, it, it, the article didn't say, and I, I, I'd kept the bottle for a while. I don't think I, I don't have it anymore. There's no reason for them to use a new unless because they they're not going to meet any of the standards if they only age it for yeah years. correct <laughs> yeah you would think but they call yeah. it bourbon right they can still be a bourbon uh I think it was whiskey I think Just it was American whiskey, whiskey. Ghost, no, ghost whiskey can, Jim Beam ghost you can whiskey be straight bourbon you can call yeah. it bourbon you can't call it straight bourbon straight bourbon has to be at least two years right okay yeah yeah you but can it has call to be in a as new long as it spins. Barrel. 60 seconds in a barrel of a, a so it can be oak. sub ten dollar yeah. bourbon. That's what you're telling me. Right. It can be a bourbon, <laughs> but it can't be straight bourbon and it can't be Kentucky straight bourbon because it's well that could be because it's from Kentucky, but not yeah. long enough. But yeah, it can be a bourbon, it just can't be a straight bourbon. I just tried to go to the Jim Beam website and it redirected me to responsibility.org. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it was wasn't called bur- it was just Jacob's ghost white. You know whiskey. you have a problem. Yeah, with. Jacob's ghost. <laughs> yeah. So here's here's my next rye of the night. Oh, I'm from no seagrass. Sea How many grass? Seagrass. No seagrass. Oh, I've went through probably half a dozen. How many seagrasses have you gone through, Eric? Since they came out? Yeah. Probably fifteen or twenty. <laughs> Sounds about right. Know. I was thinking five. They, yeah, uh, any, like, anybody I, I else? Like six. Anybody else 20, get this uh, Mash and Journey pick here? The uh, oh, you got a Driftless? Drift you mean the one that they can't sell? Yeah. The mint pineapple mojito. I want it, Sean. Yeah. You want it? Mm-hmm. Apparently. Did you say you want it or you want it? Oh, I said I want it. Yeah, it oh, nice. I, okay, I got you. With the tea. I was gonna say I didn't. Oh. I didn't know you could, know you could win one. There you go. That's a spooky whiskey. Well, you can see there is white like a tinge of color to it. There so it's is. white dog. Just yeah. very yeah. light. It's, it's like vanilla like cream. Kinda. Kinda. You can only call well, that, one did, that one didn't have any whiskey in it. This one. <laughs> you can only call it white dog if it's never touched a barrel. So it's light. There's a little color on it. Could yeah, be it's like, okay. yeah, that looks like that looks Back like. Nope, the bottle was clear too. Looks yeah, I was like, gonna say, it, it, is the like, wood just giving it? Yeah, the, the wood. Color? I think the wood's throwing it off, but just a little bit there's of color, probably just like just like a slight color. Like there's um, yeah. my local does a a light rye, and it's it's like that color, where I I don't think they've even aged it a full year, and it's just that little bit of color to it. Like it's not clear like water there's just a slight coloration to it what's the proof 40 percent so 80 why would you remember what's so that it, I, was I, like, I bought why it would you why would you water that shit down if it's i don't know i i well, bought so it, it just because it was something different but yeah, it's like cool. i said it was 
Yeah, it was cool. It was a it's while a ago. Oh, no. It was initially released in 2013. Shit, it's older than I thought it was. It's been a long, long time. Yeah. Hmm. Gee, time flies when you're having fun, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, I remember that bottle. I just Time flies when you get yeah. old. Yeah. All right, here you go. I found it. It's the same mash bill as Jim Beam bourbon and is aged for just a year in a charred white oak barrel before being filtered to remove coloration. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. So they filter it out. It is not moonshine or unaged white dog. So Very they filtered cool. the color out. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was just so weird when I tasted it. Because like I said, if I looked at it, it, it was clear but it tasted like bourbon but you close your eyes you drank it it was like oh this is a shitty bourbon <laughs> <We're just> like <laughs> what it was so confusing when he had the eyes open yeah because you just i, I just some, expected moonshine some distiller was on some like, ayahuasca when they were like i just i bullshit. just tried to go back to that website again and it took me back to responsibility doc dot org telling me to end drunk driving so <laughs> I think they think if, if you're trying to look at Jacob's Ghost Whiskey, you're probably right. you you tipsy right. behind the wheel. Yeah. <laughs> Dan, you've been yeah, they could be doing that. Not uh, they, they could have their website set up. To do NSA that. chiming in, bro. Comply. Just redirecting something. like this. Just... And then it, once you get done with saying whatever, it could redirect you that back. I don't know. Yeah, you know, it's a, it's a redirect right out of the Beam website. I put in my age, and then it's yeah. like. They, they probably have that set up to do like, that. Get the fuck out of here, man. You don't want that. Carly, you're asking about a whiskey that was discontinued a long time ago. You must be drunk. drunk. <laughs> GPS guy dropped Joe's Mash and Journey Mint Pineapple Mojito Rye yesterday. Dropped as in, like, dropped it off or dropped <laughs> it and broke it. Broke it. Hey, so uh, I got a question for Joe, the sample guy. Uh, so we had some issues with my UPS guy. He would not drop it. I wish he would have. Um, we had to like contact UPS because they would not drop it off without a signature. So, oh, what? Yeah, yeah, that, that is on the company that that's shipping it requires it. Yeah, it took three different attempts to finally get yeah. my bottle. I I have the same UPS. I'm here in Las Cruces. We have UPS drivers that are in districts, so they just yeah, drive the, the same district. Me and my, my UPS driver. I've told him if you come here with a with a box that looks like it might be holding a bottle of anything, I said just do an E and a T and it's cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's and it. So he, drop, he drops it off all the time. Wow. And he get and he gets Christmas he gets Christmas gifts. I give him Christmas cards. Yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> I just I was looking at for Andrews because I think I was trying to remember if the. Okay, the PBR whiskey is just whiskey. It doesn't say bourbon. Yeah. Uh, it's it. That's the five second one. That's the five yeah. second. But I went to you know the breaking bourbon article on it. And, you know they always have like classification, company, whatever, age, five seconds. Five <laughs> seconds. I mean, and, and technically, a second would work. Uh, yeah. 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 So, as long as it's splashed. So as long as your barrel was like a a two inch barrel that ran six it, feet it takes five, <laughs> five seconds just to put it in the barrel you could just it's, run it's it probably through. it must be like a barrel with just holes in the bottom that they've just yeah it has to be <laughs> it's just a part of the process the barrel is used as a filter <laughs> oh dropped it off thank god joe oh, yeah that's good and fedex can suck it <laughs> yeah FedEx can suck it. indeed wow Brand Someone out there has the been ghost as their go to. Probably Richie. There's somebody that <laughs> bought up just cases right of it. <laughs> Love to find that guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's probably a ghost. Actually, now I wish I could find another one just to to remember it. I remember <laughs> when that came out, but I never I never bought one. Maybe that like guy right is why that, that website like uh, directs you to the uh, responsibility. <laughs> yeah, I think that's why. You're like, you're a derelict. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it came out like right around the time of like the PBR whiskey and the like the novelty like five second whiskey. No, PBR whiskey came out way later than that. No? Sure that? No. Yeah, that came like, out 2013. PBR came out just like a couple years ago. A couple years ago, yeah. yeah. Like probably 2020. 2019, 2020. Okay. You know, that's a fair point, Alex, but I've worked really hard on looking old enough. So, <laughs> yep. 2021 came out in 2021. 
I was thinking yeah. that came out like 2016. That was still one of our funniest review videos we ever did. Is the fucking PBR whiskey because we played it <laughs> like we liked it until the last second. Uh-huh. So you could tell like in the comments on it who actually watched the whole video <laughs> and who like told us to fuck <laughs> off by like minute two. You, know? you kind of call yourself a whiskey. Yeah. Man. I was like, we're <laughs> really playing with our credibility right now, but yeah. <laughs> And then I had to put up like the the blooper reel afterwards, basically of us like just gutting through it. Like it's great, burns <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so good. Yeah. The so slap shot. Are you dry but still high? Are you high and dry? I'm high right now. <laughs> good deal. Good deal, baby. Oh boy. Yeah. Just that's for the drink. that's for the pain, pain management, babe. Just because right. you can't right. drink don't mean you, you have to be so <laughs> Exactly. You know, I got a question, Slapshot. Does it hurt to eat food? Do you get like a, a pain once you swallow and stuff like that? or uh, Fatty foods. Really? Okay. Rich foods. Okay. Yeah. So or anything that having, kicks off. Not a, not a physical. Are you having gallbladder problems? Uh, I have a lot of problems. Uh, what kicked <laughs> it off was the gallbladder shit to bed, so I got to have that out. I meet that surgeon on January 31st, but they scoped me and I have stage three esophagitis where my stomach acid is eating my esophagus. Oh, you've got yeah. bad GERD. Yes. From my sleep apnea. Yeah. Yeah. That's and the so what, but that. what's strange is stage two, I should have been sucking down like, uh, acids. uh and acids, but I never had, any pain i don't even I, I haven't used an antacid in two years do you sleep, so, with sleep up? i should but i don't but that's Why? a whole other reason that's all other reason uh with my my ptsd in the nightmares i wake up in a panic when it's on my face okay. and i lose my shit so uh, that's got, on the you've got to figure out how to, you've got to get past that you gotta like do it slowly, yeah i'm so. looking into the uh aspire stuff that they actually right. put the device inside yeah Really? Oh, okay. Cool. If they can I do just that, found out about that. So you, yeah, they put something inside, and then Does like before you go to bed, you. That? Uh, I don't know. That's all I. I that's I, I gotta. I got so many doctors on the on the payroll, <laughs> and well, I'm going down the the list and doing all the shit. So let us. You should let us know if your if your insurance doesn't pay for that, dude. Because I bet we could do something about it that. Uh, yeah, if it's the best uh, diagnosis for you. No, I'm absolutely you certain that if, yeah, if that, that your insurance bigger. won't pay for that, I'm certain that we can, those of us around you can help you out, man. Yeah, you okay. just, but they should cover it. You just have to get a doctor that'll say it's medically necessary yeah. for you to have. Yeah, and, and I mean, they, I see, I mean, I used my machine when I first got it before I had the major <laughs> issues with it. Yeah. And then when I got the issues and the nightmares, I wake up and like when it's on my face, like I'm ready to kill. Like I wake up <sighs> ripping, yeah. ripping it out of the wall. Like I, I'm, I'm full on panic. What do you? Uh, no, what what kind of mask do you use? Like a full face or just the nose? I can't use just the nose because I'm a, I breathe through my mouth. So, but I have the smallest one that it hooks between bottom lip and top of the nose. Oh. Um, but so I gave me that. a chin strap once because I kept opening my mouth, but now I just I, I use a mouthpiece. Yeah, the mouthpiece. Uh, and it like just locks me in. Because uh, I uh, grind my teeth too. So. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I got yeah. that too. Yeah. The, the one it's a production good. to go to bed. It is. <laughs> <Yeah. job. laughs> my favorite is the, is the nose piece. I, I like yeah. that better than the full mask. Yeah. Because I, I don't feel as constricted by it. Yeah, the full mask doesn't work for me because of my beard. It just like farts on my face all night because it doesn't get like a full seal. <laughs> you know, I, I thought I was gonna have issues with my mustache about that, but no, it just goes over the nose and I'm good to go. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I yeah, mine just the nose. Style of mask too. So my mask, it actually even with the beard, it still it still hooks. I just, just small wake enough, up with yeah. little. I just have to pull it a little tighter than yeah. I normally would, but yeah. I wake up with the strap marks anyway, mm. so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Okay, well, there's a lot of changes with the with the mask. Keep us abreast of that, brother. Oh yeah, that, like, and right. that was actually on the list to go see before all this crap started. That was the doctor I was trying to get to, but 
Yeah. Now I got other issues that are pressing at the moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I suppose. Literally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, damn, man. I hope they that they that get that shit figured out. Shit. Yeah. Hey, so. I'm I sure they will. Go. Yep. What did you say, I mean, Scott? These... They found out oh, yours? What figured yeah, yours they out? they kind of figured out what mine was. I have a high little hernia. I'm oh, no. Fucking old. Oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but, yeah. It's, Those are always great. Yeah. Is that the one in the nuts? Or yet, the... But... No, it's the one, no, that's where you're, the one in the right where, esophagus, right where I'm having issues. Oh. Your esophagus will come up through your, stomach your diaphragm. Comes through your stomach, stomach comes up through. Oh, okay. And then, yep. and then cut off things. And in really severe cases, it can cut blood off long enough to cause gangrene. Ugh. That's not fun. Nope. Well, green is Scott's color, so. <laughs> <laughs> Yellow and green. Man, those pus colors. <laughs> no, no. Not this week, it's not. No, no, no. no. I'm wearing the red. I got the red I on. I know you are. I know Derek, you are. you know we got room for you. Jump on. Derek, what's up, brother? Derek, we always Derek, bring your mid south show. ass on here. <laughs> Sean might have to move over, but you know we'll make room for you. Side, side. <laughs> We're all from the mid south. Mm, it's good. Yeah. Are we though? <laughs> if, if I mean, I side, am, and Derek is. I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're, you're Kentucky, more. Uh, Kentucky's definitely yeah. mid south. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about so, as um, mid south as you can get. Absolutely. Speaking of Midwest, Dan, up, how are you on the? You cold guys are awful in most every way. Thank you, Derek. And that's why you always come back. <laughs> <laughs> only, only because we try to be, Derek. Oh, uh, Derek. oh my goodness, Derek. Let me tell you right now, you are a beautiful man. You know right? what? I tell you what, Derek. It's funny you say that. In the house. I chose not to get dressed for this stream. I just uh, I just came on. So. Well, you're a like, beautiful man anyway, damn it. Well, well, thank you, sir. Scott, <laughs> what were you saying about the cold? Oh, I was gonna, I was going to ask you about the Culver's debate of the pep bringing Coke, Coke versus Pepsi. Are you? Oh, uh, I'm Team Coke, oh. dude. Oh yeah, yeah Coke so, all the way. Me too. I was like, I mean, thank God. It was there was kind of the novelty of like it being a place where you could get Pepsi. If you wanted it, but honestly, but honestly, I just get root beer every time I go there anyway. So it doesn't yeah, the root beer is the best. Wait, okay, so Bars, which, which, Bars, which, which, root, which root beer are we going with here, guys? This is important as well. Bars, Culver's it just says Culver's root beer. It's Culver's it. root beer, and they have it's like just, their own. Yeah, right. Oh yeah, that's true. I don't know what so, it is. So, so no mugs fans out there? No. I mean, no, I'm not no, a no 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 Bart's. Yeah, I rock a Bart's. I rock a mug. Bart's the best because there's caffeine in Bart's. Mugs has a bug. bulldog on it. Come on. Barks is a little too mid bite for me. Oh, also, uh, Barks has caffeine, and I can't, I can't do that. Uh, heart feels I like it might explode. That's why I do it. I love nice, Barks. Uh, it's got caffeine. I don't know if it's like I'm all about the downers, man. I'm all about the downers. And it's and it's from Louisiana, so I'm happy about that shit too. There you go. Hey, Sean, do you drink coffee in the morning? Can't do it. Uh, I mean, unless I like want to have like an anxiety attack and just start murdering people. See, I'm kind of the same way. Like, oh, I'm see, not gonna, that's the other thing. I'm not they took people. away my caffeine, my coffee, chocolate, whiskey, what? and I'm like, so, Doc, you, what you're saying is I need Eric to defend me for the homicides I'm going to commit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, Doc, you're gonna have to bail me out quite a bit of time. I will tell you, I Sean, you have a good plan. I can I can drink one cup of coffee, and I savor that son of a bitch. What happens if my dumbass decides to have? A second cup of coffee, a oh. can of Coke, or anything oh, after really? that first oh. cup of coffee. Yeah, it's um. Then the shit is off the rails. Oh yeah, baby. oh yeah. <laughs> it's funny too because I I feel the sensation, See, and I look I at my watch and the heart rate, and I'm going, <laughs> oh yeah, I should have had that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of like setting your brain on fire. It's a lot oh, of fun. Yeah. Oh yeah. Y'all don't have attention deficit disorder. That's how I stay. That's how I stay level. I Coffee say, and Red yeah. Bull. Yeah, yeah, I can't. Knows. Caffeine yeah. fucks with me. Like I just get all sweaty and weird when I have caffeine. Like no, I just don't I'm so like calm. it. Calm. I get yeah, like. I drink. Head. I drink I Red get... Bulls when I when I drive. Like when I have to drive long distances. Yeah. But that's just kind of out of a necessity. But other than that, like I generally do not 
have I, caffeine intake. Just so you know, um, uh, Dan, I've given up on that tactic a long time ago. Um, when I'm driving long distances, I go to bed early as hell, and I get the hell out of my house at 4 a.m. to get my little Peruvian blue flake, and everything's good. Because because <laughs> caffeine makes my mind think about everything that you could ever imagine. Yeah. Calculate, yep. Calculations to math problems that don't really have a saw uh, don't have an answer. <laughs> that is that is some shit that you should not be thinking about when you're driving at 80 miles an hour. That's right. You know? yeah. <laughs> That's <true. laughs> Peruvian market. Yeah, it's just power. like all these things are terrible, and I don't even know what the things are that are terrible, but they're all terrible. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> B Bauer likes the AW. Like Gordo's on a Sierra Mist over a good Sprite. One. I find mm. if I drink too uh, much Gordon, coffee, Gordon, I, I hate no. to break it to you, but there is no more Sierra. It makes things flow. Hey, uh, oh yeah, I just saw that. There's no Richie, more I'm mist? actually uh, empty yeah, glass right now. Yeah, discontinued Sierra Mist. Sierra Mist got discontinued. Although they're coming out with something else. There is like a new with, one I've seen on the yeah. show. I guess like, I'm sorry. Called something I tried it in the store. It's better than Sprite. I'll be right back. What is it called? Yeah, I haven't tried it. It's called Rich, Starry. Richie asked what I'm drinking, Starry? and the answer is S-T-A-R-R-Y. nothing. S-T-A-R-R-Y. Starry. And they legit put it on, like, the box. Like, the the lemon lime cola for Gen Zers. That's like... like oh, jeez. It's like... Wait, that, that's a thing? <laughs> Apparently. Everything is a thing. A Can you give me one of those broccoli I, haircuts? I hate, I I hate that Gen Zers <laughs> have their own Sprite now. Yeah. Uh, hey, man. <laughs> we 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 live through the Pepsi generation. Now you gotta have your own Sprite. I love that. Hey, uh, <laughs> Sean, why what, are you not drinking, sir? Well, th- so uh, I I just finished a uh, Larceny uh, B five twenty two, but oh. uh, I need some I need something new in the glass. So what too. are we drinking, fellas? Let's, let's do some drink alongs here. Um, I'm down. Oh well, since I believe this came to my house by mistake. Cheers, old man. I love that free whiskey. Pop what do we got? And I oh, am fucking did. drinking the hell out of it. Oh, McKenna. <laughs> I, I just sent my McKenna off to Jack, so I got none of that. But uh, Derek, didn't you win that Drink from some Derek? Heaven Hill? You know what? If okay. I did, if I did win it, that means I was already drunk when I did. Heaven Hill. You know what? <laughs> Maybe Rick can say something. I know he was giving one away, and I thought you won something that night. I'm gonna oh, go with the oh, other oh, Heaven Hill bottle and bond oh, here. Oh, there we oh, go. Oh, oh Tommy, yeah, that I'm was your well. I very well could have won this. Uh, that means I was already out of it. So you Vic know. Was Derek, you won it. Oh well, but thank you, sir. You know what? What's, what's, the, what's the what's the bottle? What's the uh, what's the one date? one 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 one? Uh, the <laughs> bottle at eight. Cheers, to you, Rich. Twenty-eight zero nine. Yeah, you won. Well, already drinking oh, okay. now that I think about it. Then it was that, that got there pretty quick. Though. I just poured cool. some of this shit. But what do you got there, Dan? <laughs> I, I had um, Evan Williams really bottled and bond in my glass already. Oh. I'm like, I'm like, what Heaven Hill do I want to drink? Like, oh, but but since <laughs> we're talking about, drink. I was talking about my favorite whiskeys earlier. Ring, bam! That's C922, that C922 man. That thing. That's C920, baby. 20. 20. Oh, oh, oh! I'm sorry. Oh, oh, well. <laughs> well, well, well. That that is the uh, yeah, that slap the table days. kind of whiskey right there. Good yeah, days when they were over one thirty three, one thirty two point eight. So so then I, I guess I, I misread. No, so what was your whiskeys of twenty twenty two? I I didn't get here early. My apologies. There were Wood, seven Woodford, but my my number one was Woodford Batch Proof. Okay. Yeah. That's number the Masters two, collection. Number two was the Hardens yeah. Creek, the 15-year. Number two was Hardens Creek, uh, Jacob's Well. And then the others weren't really ranked, but uh, Starlight Cigar, Lost Monarch Cast Strength, Old Dragon Bones, Barenheim Barrel Proof, and uh, Red Fife, Wisconsin Wheat. That Starlight Cigar is fantastic. Yeah, I totally understand that. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. You sent me some of that burn or Bernheim or whatever. That uh, was really good. Yeah. Oh. Well, I, I really hope that that does come out to national release. I'm trying to find the Buzzard Roof cigar. Boy, like ten. That a boy. Buzzard <laughs> Roost. Yeah. yeah. What's up, Roscoe? How we doing, man? That <laughs> one is a trip in a glass. Like. Is that the cigar, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, I've never had that, but I keep hearing amazing things about it. It's so good. I've had a sample, and now I like have been trying to find a bottle. You guys get it there, Scott? Not really. Oh, so you're trying to source a bottle. Mm-hmm. You know, Paul, my, my feeling is is that the McKenna takes it. Uh, if you have a good McKenna. With the Heaven Hill Bottle Bond and the Henry McKenna. Yeah, we we did a stream a while back where both of those were in it and the McKenna the McKenna won over Heaven Hill. I think the McKenna will win, but I think consistency wise, the Heaven Hill right, is probably right. Because there are bad McKennas. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah, the first one I ever had, I thought about pouring it out. Tastes the same. Yeah. You had one that tasted like straight sawdust, so there there's certainly some bad McKinnons out there's there. There's some weird manure ones out there. Yeah, I've had two. One was horrible, and one was excellent. <laughs> mm-hmm. I've had some that taste like a cinnamon roll. Those mm-hmm. are great. Yeah, I'm trying to find. We did a. Okay, yeah, we did a, we did a bottled and bond blind from Heaven Hill, so we did. Evan Williams, Heaven Hill, and McKenna. And it turned out like pretty much how you'd expect, you know. <clears throat> McKenna, Heaven Hill, Evan Williams. In that order. Got a couple of McKenna's there, Paul. There you go. What was your what was this event you were at, Paul, with the uh twenty distillers? I didn't hear about this. Not that I could have went. It's a Thursday night, and it was in Milwaukee. But <laughs> what was your what was your favorite? Yeah, yeah, Paul. We did the comparison on it a while back. It's probably almost like a year ago. Get a tenner. Great roll the dice. Yeah, under fifty. My mom got That's a bottle thing, from yeah. Total Wine uh, of McKenna Ten. She sends me a picture and she goes, uh, like, I was looking for something else and they didn't have it, but they sold me this and they said it was for, <laughs> she said it's Buffalo Trace makes it. And it, <laughs> she's like, did I get screwed? And I was like, well, how much did you pay? She was 30 bucks. I was like, no, you yeah. made out on that bottle. That's great. It's <laughs> just not Buffalo <laughs> Trace. Not it. like, not how many did they have? Good deal. Yeah. Take them all. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you made out well, but that lady's lying to you. I didn't know what the fuck you're talking about. Well, no, fucking Total Wine. Anytime I'm in the ones in the Minneapolis area, it's just there. You just hear the words Buffalo Trace constantly out of their mouths if you're in the whiskey aisle. Mm -hmm. It's just. (laughs) This is from Buffalo Trace's other distillery when they're trying to sell you that Chestnut Farms shit or whatever it is. Awful. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's. It's It's, bad for the price. That's. It's Barton, isn't it? It's Chestnut Farms is just Barton. I believe so, yeah. But it, it, very it's very expensive, Barton. Yeah, it, it's bad for the price. It's not bad actually, but it's just bad for the price. Well, for the price, yeah. Yeah. Wallersheim barrel string. I've never had any of the Wallersheims yet. That's a Wisconsin one. It's terrible. Hey, uh, hey, Sean. I saw. Yeah. I saw a video. A video of you saying what bourbons no one should ever buy. Yeah, I'm, pr- I'm proud to say I've never tried any of them. <laughs> Fantastic, man! And, 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 and your delivery was great. Hey, what's up, Jeffrey? Well, <laughs> thank you, Derek. I appreciate that, man. I know Wax excited for the Royal Rumble on Saturday night. We're probably the only right. wrestling fans in the house, but there we go. Royal Rumble is fun as hell, man. That's a fun event. Even if you're not a fan, you got to get in a pool where everybody like puts in ten bucks or something, and then. Mm-hmm. You get a number one through thirty because it's thirty people in it, and then if your number wins, you get fucking three hundred bucks. That's interesting. You, know? you have thirty people that do that. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm in a I'm in a I'm in a pool in a, in a Facebook group that has like two thousand people in it right oh. now. Like they have to keep so, dividing it into thirties. You know, I'm he, I got number fifteen. It? Did he sell it to the Saudis? No, the WWE. No. No, not budget. not currently. He hasn't. the the uh, The thinking on that actually is that they floated it out there as a rumor to see how people would react if they actually did it. 
and they found out pretty quickly that not that positively. But also, the Saudis are probably the only people that are going to give them the amount of money they actually want for the fucking oh, thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Because they're going to try to sell that shit for like $7 billion. Nobody else is going to give them that. Unless it's like Comcast and they'd get like everything, you know? Yeah. They no longer have to pay them the TV rights because they fucking own it. <clears throat> Thursday's treating us very well, Jeffrey. Mm-hmm. Hope's treating you well yep. as well. I was actually supposed to be in uh, Cincinnati today, but that didn't happen. You're not wrong, Jeffrey. <laughs> oh. Hanging out with the black. Are you snowed in, sir? Am oh. I? Yeah. No. Okay. We the got man. a little bit of snow we today, had a, but uh, not much. Deal to not go through. Chicago that's got it did. pretty good today, didn't you? Yeah, that's what the man told us. Um, yeah. yeah, I didn't get a whole bunch of that. No, I did throw some salt on my steps <clears throat> because they were frozen, but just because they were wet mm-hmm. when the temperature dropped, and um, <laughs> I made sure my wife and child could get out to go to school. There you and go. Then I, and then I went back to bed. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, around here we got day, it. Huh? No snow day. Bummer. No. No, nah, no. Nah, you don't cancel for shit around here. But I will tell you, no, I canceled. The man also claims I'm going to get four to five inches on Saturday. So I still got my uh, really? shovel. Shit. I got to look if we're supposed to get snow too. Dude, if it's calling for snow the next day, they cancel school around here. Yeah, not right here. <laughs> I missed those we days, got, Brian. I missed those ago, days. It dropped down to like negative forty, and they canceled school. I was like, "Hey, uh, Jeffrey, I'll, I'll look into my account, see if I can help you out there." Yeah. Okay. Well, you take a check, and Waters? you can jump real high. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was just, I was just thinking about that area hey, earlier Jeff. today. Actually, I love that part of fucking Wisconsin. Jeffrey Wack, Northern we need Wisconsin. a Wilson, buddy. Need you to hop on real quick. I love it. Yeah, Jeffrey, how are you going to get $7 billion if you're not like on screen making a Yeah, for you? I'm not I'm not dollars. sending you a billion dollars if you don't come on. Screw that. <laughs> What's up, Salty? Sure. Yeah. This is right. where you I'm make the tens of dimes, Jeffrey. You got to hop on, man. Hey, Jim. Wait, you guys yeah, got Jim. billions? Um, 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 I, I, I'll just take 40000 <laughs> Hey, Jim. 40000 Yeah. At least that is another in. zero What's under that? that. Jesus. Scott, I um um uh, how do I say this in polite company? Uh, I do Where's okay that? For, I do okay for a man from Alligator, Mississippi. Uh all, <laughs> I, need go. Go. all I need to be is debt free. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't do too bad either, and I still want to fucking. I'll, I'll I'll still take more money than they'll give me. Yeah, but I believe you know that whole thing. Uh, uh, Betsy Truman's mother says, "Power corrupts," mm-hmm. and I think too much money will fuck you up. <laughs> That's it, man. It's like yeah, notorious true. Big once said. Uh, well, I'd, li- I'd like to. I'd like to be given the opportunity to speak. <laughs> yeah, <what is> <laughs> I, I hear you, Brian. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. What is this too much money you speak of? <laughs> yeah, it's like, I you know, that, I, that, I that, is, that is that is a thing for sure. <laughs> I mean, and there there is too much money, but I ain't got close to it yet. I'll let you know when I've gotten close enough. I'll give some to everybody else. Yo, what's up, Cheech? I. Cheech, oh, man, I need to come on. I haven't seen Cheech in a while. Sorry to hear that, Jeff. Oh, that sucks, cover, brother. Hopefully, you get through it. Ah. I just got some rock and rye from Shane. That, oh, oh, good thing my trip fell through. Greg Jeffrey. McDonald thought we were cool. What, what are we drinking that? next? That was a good call out on the McKenna there. Oh, I, Adam's already um, done. Okay. Oh, I, I did. Adam, I did a I, tiny. Adam, I'm still not done through. with it, but I, I tell you what, I'll. I'll think of something for you. Jared, Jared still has like I don't think I ever even poured the C920. I never. Hey, also, it. Adam, I, I need to get your choices for next week now because I've already, I've already thrown up this week. But oh, so. do I get to choose? I for sure yeah. get to choose. Yeah, man, it's you. You got a, You got a choice when, whenever, oh. whenever you want it, man. Okay. ICP okay. versus Twisted. Nope. <laughs> 
I got, I got one of the Like, I mean, if, if that's what he get chooses, the, I'll do it. I will hate it the whole time, the, but I'll do it. the worst crowd possible to come to your stream. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose some newer metal. I've got a thousand be, subs over there. I'm going to be old but... stuff. <coughs> 311 yeah. versus Combine. Yeah, Combine, yeah I'll get all the jugglers to their uh, Hopping on stream. Anyway, no, Adam, Adam, honestly, I'm looking forward to your choices, man. I still right. love the fact that we'll ICP's tomorrow, like, posse you. is like considered a gang organization by the federal government. Yeah, that's bullshit, man. That sucks. It is pretty damn what? hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that's bullshit, though. Like, when yeah. you look at like it the was, actual it, implications, they are covered in, that, in a gang class I once took. When, mm-hmm. when you look at it's the like, actual really? implications like... of that and the people like involved, like that's bullshit, man. Like, like that's that's not right. No, that's like, per- that's a perfect if... example of government fucking bullshit. <laughs> yep. If you yep. saw him. Like, I mean, I, I've been to a, a couple ICP concerts. You could fight them by going like this, and he probably bitch slapped the fuck out of them, and they'd yeah. like die. <laughs> Yeah, like most, yeah, yeah, most jugglers I've known live in their uh, parents' basement. Parents they're they're not uh... jugglers are, are an interesting bunch of people. <laughs> yeah, it, like, um, four. a gang well, they are not. Four oh, four roses! I could do that. No, a gang they are not though, and that, and that gang classification that. carries a lot of legal implications for yeah. those people, <laughs> which are really <laughs> fucking. I don't want to offend the whiskey loving jugglers. Because they, <laughs> because like you can, you can get like denied from a job if they find out you're a juggler. If you get pulled over and you have like an ICP t shirt, a cop can just search you because no, you cannot. There's no, well, there's it's, no, it's, there's it's no the insane clown posse exemption to the Fourth Amendment. That's but bullshit. that's but that's that's what they're going to use as their probable cause, Hell and a juggler is not going to know that. <laughs> you know, yeah, fact, fact, Dan. No, you but, need a little more than that, Dan. I'll whoop that but they, ass. but it's it's the whole the whole the whole thing's bullshit. Oh yeah, you know, you know it's like insane clown posse is just fucking dumb. It's not yeah. a gang. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible, but it's not, it's a, not gang. a gang. It's we, just dumb. We had, a, we had another case here three days ago. Guys walking down the street, open carry, and a, a cop sees him, pulls him over, and tries <laughs> to tell him it's up. illegal in New Mexico to open carry. It's constitutionally protected here. Hey Derek, I hear you on the private. Yeah, I get you, man. Yeah, and they're, they're like they're like trying the 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 cops are trying to like fight this guy like he was somehow wrong, and I'm just like, come on, man! Everybody should know the law. Every cop, every cop in a car should know the law, right? Okay, oh, let, mm-hmm. let, let me ask you a question, and Jeez. I'm gonna be as vague as I possibly can because I don't want to lose my credibility on stream. The guy who you harassed. Uh, what did he look like, sir? What who looked like? The the guy who had the gun that the cops wanted to mess with. He was a white guy. Oh, well, goddamn. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what he was. Well, that's right. Yeah, that's, <laughs> wait a goddamn second. Uh. <laughs> well, that, that's why that's why he still got he he you know. That's why he, he didn't the, get he got shot. The fight a case. Yeah, that's <laughs> why he just got question about it. Right? I didn't, oh, I wanna, Officer, record, I'm just trying to get my insurance. Stop shooting me. For the record, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't say none of that shit you guys said. None of it. I just asked what he looked like. That's all. I mean, Richie, I obvious. would agree. I would agree with that. Like 50 to 60. I'd say 70 yeah. is like the high end of mid price at this yeah. point. Anything above that, I consider it more of a high price model. Wait, Tommy, was that a joke? No. Nothing wrong with it. Oh, oh, oh! So ICP was Better signed to Disney's record label. That's how they made Come all their on, money. Tommy. Yeah, you're a man, you're a man of uh, not, not distinguished taste. <laughs> no, that was that was a shrewd business move on their part. Actually, they got signed to Disney's record label to like a bunch of money, knowing they would get dropped. So all those it. Disney kids just became. Jugglers. But they got they, but they got the guaranteed <laughs> money, and then they went out right. and made their own label with it. You know. That's, that's the thing. Bad. Like their fans, their fans are you know questionable, but the two guys are actually pretty fucking smart with how yeah. they've handled their career through the years. Yeah, they're they're not they're not. The one is Guy Fieri, right? The... Yeah, yeah. The, well, he, he <laughs> sings for Smash Mouth sometimes, just, just and it then fun. he cooks. <laughs> oh my! All the same oh guy. It's all the same guy. Just that same douchebag doing terrible things. 
Hey, hey, Derek. <laughs> Yes, sir. Just in case, just in case I have someone that comes over to my house that wants Jimmy White Label, I have some for him. There you go. Oh, there you go. well, baby, <laughs> I have a one seven five. Indeed, that. that's that's. Indeed. I, I, that one still I, I on gave it to my kids. <laughs> no, only oh my goodness. Old Majay's man. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not surprised by that OMJ man. Like, where no, has like he said, been? Yeah, yeah, not all juggalos are complete fucking. Old man Joe was whatever, in uh, Utah you know? for some reason earlier. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Last Saturday, or yeah, Saturday. Hey, what was he doing? There? No, it's Friday. <laughs> his mom, his mom lives here. Tell me. What's that? His mom lives here. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> that For sure, boy. Nice. Oh, salty's into Tech Nine. Yeah, Tech Nine's pretty fucking good. So oh, yeah, yeah. That, that's story about Tech Nine. He parties here in Lincoln, Nebraska. Like oh, that's a weird time. move. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a why. weird flex for sure. He loves it. He he just did like redid the uh, Red Kingdom song for Nebraska. Like he just redid it for them. That's anyway. a weird move. I know. <laughs> no idea you and like about. I have does been he, to does bars he visit the where he stockyards to get fresh meat. Like, is that why he goes there? Yeah, he's, he's all he about just has beef. a really loves being in Lincoln, Nebraska. He likes beef and corn. <laughs> he's also from Kansas City, so like it's yeah, terribly far away. Oh, he's from Kansas Sometimes City. Sometimes you just you just he's kind of cool find your place. For sure, <laughs> Richie. Yeah, good stuff, man. <laughs> it's like my <laughs> uncle's. I've been to in, like lives near uh, Cisco, or the Thong Song. Yeah. Lives in like a, a suburb of Minneapolis that my uncle lives in. <laughs> Very nice. That's funny. How, how is Cisco doing these days? I, I feel like, uh, you know, the money's probably dried up at this point. Oh, uh, I mean, he's probably not making any new money, but uh, he made plenty of money back. Oh, yeah. Because you figure you had thongs. You would like to hope that he did something reasonable with his cash. Oh, yeah. Appar- apparently he did. I mean, he still does like some. You know, small shows. He's probably on that like Lovers and Friends fest. I mean, he, but he, that but or he's working at like a King Supers. Like, no, no, he he's got he's got cash because he was he was in Drew Hill first of all, yeah, which yeah. was successful. Then he does Thong Song. Then he's on the Will Smith Wild Wild West song. Yeah. He's singing the chorus on there, so he got the Will Smith money too. Will like, Smith he, is dead to me, dead to me, dead to me. <laughs> dead to me. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there was there was a point where Drew Hill was like the Huge. thing, like girls yeah. were like throwing panties on stage, yeah. and yeah. I don't think Cisco <laughs> yeah. cared about that. If you catch what I'm saying, but, uh... <laughs> oh, he's in that same camp. I got you. Oh, okay. All right. The only, the only other person that is going to get this reference is going to be Derek. Uh-oh. I went to I went to a Luther Vandross concert. Oh yeah. And I've never seen so much, so many bras and panties get thrown up on a stage than women threw up for Luther Vandross. Yeah, it was man, crazy. I went I, to a, I went to a Bon Jovi concert and watched my mom throw her bra on the stage. How, how uncomfortable was that? Oh my god! No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, I, she, this man, lady was day, definitely Luke, my mom's age. I was like. <laughs> Back back in the day, like Luther and Barry were like battling it out for who could collect the most panties. Um, well, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up! I can't allow you to do this to me. I don't know if I want you to put Luther and Barry in the same sentence. Barry liked women. Are you saying Luther didn't? Damn. Like women? Huh? Are you saying Luther didn't like women? This is the public internet. No, I didn't hear that at all. This is the public internet and, you know, words. So, so here's um, Derek. Here's Luther. There's the bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 words have legs. Um, uh, and, um, okay. Let's just I, I say, hear you. I'm not going to answer that question. I think you've said a lot on the internet that I this said. probably would not be the most controversial thing you've said. <laughs> yeah, actually, this is probably <laughs> fine. <laughs> this is probably not. Like, women threw up for Luther Vandross. No, they didn't throw up. They threw Mark, where the fuck are you? It's your birthday. Yeah, Mark. I'm having poor. We'll, we'll, we'll have a toast to Mark you, Emmernecker Mark? You, man. if he comes on. We'll have one regardless, but Mark, come on. I can't, I, can't, I can't believe he died that long ago. Holy shit. Luther. 
Yeah. It's been a minute. Yeah. Yeah, man. Tom Jones. Almost two decades. Yeah. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. (laughs) I tell you what, Barry Manilow was like that too. And, uh, yeah. He's right there with Luther. So I thought. So I I had a. My, my eighth grade English teacher was like in love with Barry Manilow, like to a degree that's not reasonable. It's called um, you used up the until words. about a year ago, I did not know that Tom Jones was not American. Yeah, I, I didn't know he was British. Oh yeah. Well, I, I guess I never heard Welsh, him speak. or something like that. Scottish. Welsh, yeah. he's Welsh, yeah, but he's yeah, he's, he's one of those weird. John ones. Britain's got talent. He's the yeah. he's one of the judges. But I was like, I, my talent. second mom used to fall over he, head, you know, whatever. Um, for Barry Manilow and Lou Reed, not Lou Reed, um, Lou Rawls. Lou Rawls. Lou Rawls was another one. When I found that out, I felt like the the end of like Gone in sixty seconds when Sphinx Pro, uh, that guy finally talks for the first time. Mm-hmm. And he's like, wait, you're British? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's how I felt. I was like, what the fuck is happening? He's, he's, got, a, he's, got, a, a, he's got an accent. You can hear it. Be back in a second. I guess I've only heard him sing. So. <coughs> you had the moves, too. <coughs> this is a weird <laughs> thing that uh, English, British, Welsh, whatever people seem to lose their accents when they sing. Right. Mm-hmm. It's not Except unusual for James Blunt. Like, that guy Wong. became more James Blunt. <laughs> <laughs> now I haven't thought about that guy in a long time. <laughs> for some well, it's like uh, Mel Tillis. He didn't. Song. He stuttered, but he didn't stutter when he sang. Yeah. Is it a rye night, Eric? Yep, it's a rye night. I only got rye up here. All right, all right, all right. All rise, all rise, all rise. Chuck Berry's the man. <laughs> Especially <laughs> if you've seen the the uh, the underground tapes of Chuck Berry. That's some stuff too. Oh yeah, Chuck Chuck was in some different stuff. Yeah, Chuck oh. Chuck was on a different level. Yeah, but Chuck should have <laughs> never gone to prison. He got that that girl came over of her own accord. Oh come on. Frank Zapp had a song. You know what? You have, you no, know, I'm not. Oh, I didn't say you were Here's wrong. Saying. Here's I saying. said, "Come on." <laughs> I, I think that I think the problem is, and this is where I, I get in trouble with with my people. I, I I say things akin to, "You have to know where the fuck you are," and Indiana just ain't the place to be fucking around with a white girl. I, that that came out of Eric's mouth. Well, like just true. <laughs> do you think? Do you think? Do you think Chuck Berry would have got in trouble if it had been a sister? Hell no. No, and I think even the, even if that same situation had been in Ohio or in Illinois, he also Excuse would me. not have gotten in trouble. Right, Indiana mm-hmm. is the middle finger of the South, brother. It's the middle finger of the South. <laughs> Oh, the Why Does It Hurt When I Pee? That's a great song. And Wet T-Shirt Nights on the album before it? That's a great yeah. song, too, dude. That that whole series in the middle of that album is awesome. Just a three-disc set of Zappa guitar solos. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's incredible. I haven't heard um, uh, anything from Zappa since I left college. <laughs> Tom Tom Jones and Black Sabbath would be odd, but I could see it working. <laughs> He's got a voice on him. Oh, I like, I like Roger Carrington too. Which Black Sabbath? Beer. We can Which all Black Sabbath? Are we, talking about, are we talking about Ozzy? Are we talking about Wait, we can Post Dio? Dio. He, he, he said he said Dio. Yeah. Post Dio. Oh, yeah. Okay. Post Dio. Okay. And, and there there is no Dio replacement. So. No. No. No, I, yeah, I mean, you know, original Sabbath, I think, is still the best, but like Dio's Sabbath is fucking great. <clears throat> too. See, I've seen I've seen Dio Sabbath twice in concert. I've missed I've missed Sabbath with with uh, Gazi. Yeah, I've missed it with Gazi like three times. I mean, like it was like this yeah. close, but didn't get there. 
Yeah, at so, this point, is no reason to see Oz at this point, man. He's not even well, singing anymore. Yeah, he, he's like a bumbling old grandma at this point. He, he looks like your grandma, and he just like mumbles <laughs> like your grandma with dementia. So it's well, they it, brought him uh, out. They brought him out for that like uh, NFL kickoff thing this year, like the first oh, game yeah, of the yeah. year. I think like he played that halftime. Was, Wait, there, there was, uh, Ozzy there was Osbourne, the, or was oh, he computer generated? That's the guy that doesn't really speak English. Oh yeah, but, <laughs> but he was no. clearly with like the they had him. Hair. Like he just like came up from like on an elevator from under the stage. He okay. clearly had like a uh, something like he was strapped to like under his coat to hold him up. Like he yep. couldn't stand up. He wasn't singing. Nothing was live other than Zach's guitar was live. I think he had Zach Wild playing with him again. And wow. the way that Zach was hitting the solo, you know, it, that felt like that was live. But the rest of it was not. Yazi was just like, no, 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 yeah, no, 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 I know this guy. I, know like, this guy. I, love, I love Yaz, but, but come on, man. We don't want to see yeah. you like this. Dude. Yeah, no, it's his wife. His wife's trying to make him relevant as long as she can. Just when he dies. Make that money. It's the goose that lays the golden when, egg. When, when he dies, <laughs> Sharon Osborne is on limited income. So she oh, has to up, like. Up. Eric, I thought they were divorced. Oh no. No, no. No, no, no. They're together. Separated. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sharon separated is smart. He's going to suck the blood off of this yeah. being until he's dead. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. She, 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 she's like the only difference between her is a, and a tick is a tick falls off when you die. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she'll, I bet you she's got hologram Ozzy ready to go. Oh, oh yeah. hell yeah. You know yeah. it. Remember when the Tupac thing was going around? Uh, yeah that was wild i watched that live uh, on youtube it was it was pretty and you know cool. video quality wasn't the greatest back then but you know, it was still time. pretty cool i had just broken my foot and i was on a bunch of vicodin watching it just watching coachella live stream sitting there and all of a sudden tupac shows up but because of the video quality like <laughs> you couldn't tell that that was a hologram at first <laughs> and i yeah. was freaking out you're like, like Tupac. Like, holy like, shit, he's, he's not dead. He's, he's here. Tupac. Like he's not dead. This Tupac's is fucking. Dead. Oh my god. Like, which I mean, honestly, part. if you follow the Machiavelli theory, he might not be dead. But uh, that's that's right. he's in fucking Jamaica. We all know that. But then it like you know after a while, like there was a shot where they got close to him. And the way he like slid across the. St- I was like, oh okay, it's a hologram. But because of that like 480p video quality and. Viking yes. <laughs> almost sold it. Almost sold it. I was like, holy <laughs> shit, Tupac. Someday, someday the quality is going to be so good, they'll never have to talk about anybody dying again. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the so, thing is, uh, Sharon was on The View, so that's all we really need to say. Uh, yeah. Well, no, she, she was on the shitty view. She was on The Talk, which is like. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's not even the view that's, of a uh, shitty show. I, I just, I just kind of like push all those terrible yeah, shows the same one show. box. And but it's yeah, like she was, is that she the show? Is that the show Gilbert fire. is on? Um, the one from Roseanne. Yes, I think so. Yeah, maybe. All right. Okay. All right. It's the, the one. Talk. Um, you know, some of us have to work in the mid afternoon. You know, we don't watch that. Connie Chung, shows. but um. Yeah, I, yeah, I do know what you mean. I do know what you mean. Uh, it's, uh, it's, you're not the daddy's, uh, his wife. Maury Povich yeah, is... Maury's wife. That's <laughs> yeah, that's Connie Chung. <laughs> Maury's wife is Connie Chung. I'm thinking of, it's, uh, what's her name, Lisa? Is um, She's like the wife of the head of CBS. Oh, geez. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. Moonves' like, wife. Then he got, like, caught sexually harassing women. Uh, Was Moonves did? Yeah. I mean, I'm not surprised. But then, like, she was still contractually obligated to do all these fucking shows. She was contractually obligated to love him. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Well, that too. Yeah. Yeah. Contractually obligated to that Mid South. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Anybody who doesn't think you can contractually obligate somebody to love you, go to your own Marxist state. Uh, Ozzy yeah, doesn't even know where he is. Well, Richie, you I have the tiny well, also, I you think Ozzy away. knows that uh, Sharon does a good job of taking care of the like the finances and the kids and all that yeah, stuff. So. I think, I think, I think Ozzy really does love her. 
honestly. I think oh, oh, she oh. she uh oh, damn, damn. she Don't pulled that slow. No, no, that no, slow. for real. She she pulled him out of fucking bullshit way she back. Did. If you, she yeah, did. She did. Honestly, would not be with us if it weren't for no. Sharon. In, in That's, right. That's right. Uh, From the beginning, his contract with her father was so predatory, and she's like, "Just leave. Just go." Yeah, it's, she ended up, and they, they changed every. She literally is one of the people who's changed a lot about how mm. artists negotiate contracts now. Yeah, she's she's That's a good. very astute businesswoman mm-hmm. who that, dad whose dad put a contract out on her. <laughs> yeah. That said, she's an awful human being. She is. Oh uh, yeah. So, so, so we under- <laughs> So we understand why your dad put a contract out on her. Yeah, <laughs> it's reasonable. Yeah, Mike, well, Mike Franklin, you're not wrong. But it's at least excusable. I, I will openly admit, I only, friend. I only know her. Gene Simmons, that motherfucker will put his face. Eddie's just an instrument for pearls. Old oh, man, Jill, let's talk about Canadian metal. He's not okay. singing lyrics. <laughs> Canadian like metal. Oh, Canada. Anvil. Is there oh, that's such the only thing one as know. Canadian metal? Yeah, yeah, Anvil. So Anvil. Uh, okay. Um, that's my who, list who is else? running out. I'm trying to think. Um, all, all the bands that I'm are probably in my mind are European. What's um, like Hexen or Rush? something? Yeah, Rush isn't quite metal. Yeah, but, but Rush isn't Canadian. really metal. Are yeah, they? Rush isn't metal. They're Canadian. But Rush is not. Rush is different from metal. It's way different from metal. Man, I mean, I, I, you could probably call their early stuff. Approaching metal, but not really quite there. Yeah, yeah. My my favorite still the Necromancer man. That's Spirit Box. Caress of That's Steel. Man Joe's favorite. Man. Hey, what's up, Isaiah? Okay. Yeah. Cheers. Prog rock, indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Just, I mean, Pink Floyd's prog rock. I know yeah. this band, Pink Floyd. I know, I know but the better, band. but better than than Rush. I'm gonna throw hey, it out there. Knows the band. Oh, no, no, absolutely. I'm band. not gonna argue. Oh, yeah, but I, I do know after this. Led Zeppelin. That's after Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd's my second favorite band in the world. Because keep in mind, I want to school with people bit. that listen to this music, <laughs> and as a result, <laughs> like, I had to listen to it too. <laughs> William, unfortunately, I have. Uh, Wait, what, what, what is that? No, I think, man, I think man, man, not a fan of the Tom McDonald. Okay, let's just put Derek's boomer Tom memes McDonald. into a rap song, and <laughs> like, it's awful, dude. That's bad. Okay, fair enough. That's really bad. <laughs> like if Eminem just like rapped Facebook boomer memes. <laughs> oh <Tom> God! <laughs> well, that, that's an interesting take there, Dan. All right, facts no, don't care about your feelings. Yeah. Like, okay. I love Dan's hot takes because he's so passionate about it. He just like goes for it. <laughs> Good lord. So, I see people uh, talking, I see people talking about metal. Somebody should uh should drop Sean's uh the mashing metal. Yeah, the mashing metal. <laughs> yeah, mashing metal. I appreciate that, Eric. Thank you, man. Yeah, no, I. Metal on metal. That's yeah. That's the anvil. <laughs> yeah. Any, anybody else uh, watch Ruthless Metal? I think that guy does a fantastic job covering uh, history of metal and stuff. If you're into that, so. I've never watched that one. Hey, I think I. Based on accent, I believe he's somewhere South America. I can't say for sure. He's never said. But he sounds uh, like the Reaper. No, 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 no. no this guy's not not a douchebag. So, um, <laughs> personal foul. <laughs> it's a PA. No, no. Foul. <laughs> Reaper, you can't foul the Reaper. He is free game. Go. <laughs> uh, no, but uh, ruthless metal. Yeah, he does fantastic uh, work on YouTube there. Watch, lots of uh, great uh, metal history. I watch rock and roll true stories sometimes. That's an all right YouTube channel. Okay. It's cool. not like all met, you know, it's just like different. Like he'll just pick like an event that happened and talk about it or, you know, or like history of a specific band or something, you know. 
Was Kitty Canadian? Yes, Burn Baller Lee. I had I a crush on all those girls. Really? On the other I, channel. <laughs> I see yeah, I, I see them live. Right, brother. Really? Yeah. That's why I hesitated. Yeah, I had I had a big crush on Kitty in high school. <laughs> but I, I don't know where they were from. They might be Canadian. They had a couple bangers, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Eric's too high to say Sean's other channel. <laughs> yes, I was. I admit it. I admit fine. It. It's totally fine. <laughs> too high to remember mash and metal. I admit it. There you go. Okay. Thank you, David Bass. <laughs> the opposite of Canadian metal. <laughs> <laughs> but but I at least knew who I was. I at least knew who I was endorsing at that time. Oh, and, and Tom McDonald's Canadian too. He is, he is Canadian. He that's raps true. about America. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. And he, he loves Go American home. politics. Like, like they, they have <laughs> Tom McDonald. It is hilarious. It's, it's all the same. <laughs> I don't even know who this dude is, but now I'm going to go watch the whole That's why it's funny to me that Dan is so passionate it. about it. It's just bad. I don't, it's, just, it's just bad. It's bad music. I don't know what to tell you. It's hilarious. <laughs> bad. Uh, bad. I Google this picture, and he kind of looks like, like the Bad compared to what? Like, I think, I think, compared to good. I mean, so, compared so, to good things. So, so, so here's what I mean, I'm gonna I would, say: I would the content of what he's Tom, about Tom, McDo he's Tom McDonald. He's Tom McDonald is the guy that your uncle texts you and says, "I don't really usually like rap, but this guy sp says the truth." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. All right. Fair. Oh, no. So, 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 so he, here, here is my defense of Tom McDonald. Not that I'm a huge fan, but uh, given what rap is today. I think that Tom and Donald can actually rap, like put together some decent lyrics. Now, whether you like the content of those lyrics is a different subject, but the yeah. dude can actually rap. Uh, when, when you look at most rap that's out there today, it's pretty damn awful. Like they're they're not making great lyrics. Uh, like yeah, there's no of, like, uh, what's that? A lot of the same stuff. Yeah. It's about. horrible. It's like hose bitches, Vicodin, Oxys. Let's, uh, let's do it. Yeah. Dollar bills. Yeah, I'm sorry, but nobody's been able to rap since NWO. This guy. That's, that's a lot. Since the NWO, Good Wolfpack. Girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great rap song. That theme song. I'll give you that. That said, you know, I'm not gonna like put Tom up there with the greats. I'm not. I'm not trying no, to say that. No, I'm just he saying just, that comparatively. He, uh, uh, across Definitely the board, like what's time. out there, he 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 ripped he ripped he ripped off Eminem's like old flows, and then he looks like Macklemore if he was a juggalo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Looks like that's a, that's the last part's a bit harsh, but uh, I'll, not I'll wrong. Dude, his, his, <laughs> his, 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 his is very juggalo. Give you that. It's not wrong. I mean, kind of slipping on it. Like I, I hold juggalos in like a deep disdain down in my heart, where I just I, I have a deep hatred for juggalos. I think the whole thing is stupid. But uh, yeah, well, I, I can see it. Don't you, turn your Sean. back on the wolf. Are they okay? <laughs> Does the juggalo touch you somewhere inappropriately? No, I just think the whole. I think the whole look is stupid. I think everything they stand for is stupid. If there's juggalos out there, I'm sorry. Uh, I just, yeah, I, I hate no, the whole totally right. Thing. They're a bunch of fucking posers. Yeah. Are y'all drinking now? Uh, I'm I, empty. I don't, I don't remember. I'm drinking um, your spirit. I love, I love it when that happens, Sean. I I'm just, I sit the, there the for like ten minutes. Yeah, you're like, what the oh, fuck did I, I drink? If I'm totally honest, I was completely wasted when I got on the stream, so I shouldn't <laughs> even be drinking more. <laughs> um, you're, you're crystal clear. You're not slurring your speech. Don't be ashamed of that. Drink up. Tomorrow's gonna suck. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Um, yeah. But what you that? sound you sound not very drunk at all. I mean, you don't even sound intoxicated. Well, that's because I've been doing this for way too long, Eric. Uh, <laughs> it sounds like tomorrow's problems. Yeah, exactly. I love it. I love it. He's a professional. He was just staring at me on the show. Oh, that's right. So. Uh, I poured oh, some Belcone single malt. Yeah. Um, yeah. Air breed. I, I just think about what I was smelling there for a second. Dude, I, ordered, I ordered some bourbon pursuit uh, Balconis rye cast strength. It should be here next week. Hell yeah, man. Uh, oh, man, Joe. Uh, what what do like you got? What are you getting there, Adam? 
I like Boots Riley. I don't like Street Super Social Club, but I like Boots Riley. Oh rare yeah, breed. the king. Yeah, we're on. We're on the rare breed. You know what? I, I think I might switch over there. That sounds fantastic. Oh, <laughs> liquid IV. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, two toes is drinking liquid IV. You know, I really need to invest some of those, some of that. Those liquid IVs upstairs, the new ones that are like mocktail inspired. Oh, the mojito ones and shit. Yeah. I'm just like, well, I mean, I could drink one like when I go upstairs tonight, but if I were like hungover in the morning, I don't think that's what I'd want to drink. <laughs> First thing you want oh, yeah. to it, it, It's Ooh, a little a smoky too salty. Paloma. <laughs> I, I, would want, away from I would want sugar. like I would just want like a citrus flavored, very quick drink. I, I did that. I drank one of those and, and woke up the next morning. I mean, my heart was just still going. Oh yeah, and salt. I didn't really drink a lot of yeah. whiskey. It was more the. Uh, are, are liquid uh, IVs uh, caffeinated? No, no, but they got a lot of sugar. No, but they got sugar. Oh, okay. So, so oh, and, um, and that I'm, will not work. A lot of sugar, a lot of salt. Yeah, yeah, like, at the, at the they have like less of... sugar than like a can of Coke. Yeah. I but I mean, so I I, ideally, though, here. ideally, though, if you're trying to hydrate, you don't want like hardly any sugar at all. Right. Yeah. Um, no. What's up, Jerry? But they, they do have like electrolytes and vitamins and shit. Hey, Jerry, right. how are you feeling, man? I have a pill that does. I, I was up, Jerry. How are we doing? They got a lot of good flavors. Those are probably the best things I've tried. Flavor wise, is the liquid IVs. I've got some yeah. other ones like a Doctor Beats or Deep or something like that. And they're okay, but they're sugar free. So, so help Big me Vic out. here oh. is he still here? He's got that Zbiotics shit. Yeah, Big Vic's a Zbiotics man. Hell yeah, man! Mm-hmm. Use promo code. Also, uh, you know that K- Kinder like Lights. That. I know they're kind of uh, it may remind you of your childhood, but uh, they get it done, man. You can buy them anywhere. I was about to ask that. What what separates this from Pedialyte? Nothing. Nothing. Not a thing. You know, it also works if you, you Except know. Except Pedialyte like, tastes price, like price, shit. Price, Derek. Yeah, right. yeah, like say, you're right. Oh, oh, like... Eric. Eric and, and Tommy, maybe. Okay. Uh, nothing good for you is going to taste good. I'm sorry. Take a, take right. a hit of uh, that take is a hit of pickle juice. That works, pickle, too. Pickle Boost. juice works, and I love how pickle juice I love juice pickle juice. Boost. I can't yeah, see I can't, it. Hey, I what's up, Michelle? Find... If I can't find something to replace, what a whiskey. Yeah, we do it. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna drink pickle juice. I've got. I mean, okay, help me out, help me out, Eric, because you know I'm. I'm oh, it's know, been I'm a while since I've had rare breed. That's when good. you use the word oh, pickle yeah. juice. Are we talking about sweet juice pickles? Of, no, that is well, exactly what it sounds like, Derek. Yep. Or are you talking about dill pickles? Dill either. pickles, either one. Dill pickles. Okay. All mm-hmm. right. Yeah. Derek. I might give you that. I might give hey, Derek, you, that. you don't like the flavor of some of these? I think you need a suppository, bud. No. no, no <laughs> hey, good night, Richie. No, no. Thanks for hanging Actually, out, man. Oh, yeah, good night. Night, you at the Richie. Took that the wrong way. Night, Richie. What I'm getting at is Dude, I, you, got, you got to take me to dinner once before you get to give me a suppository. <laughs> Glad to hear it, Glad <laughs> at, at, it. At, least, at least At least once. <laughs> um, yeah. You no, know, Adam, I think you misunderstood what I was saying. What I was claiming is. Anything that's good for you is going to be nasty. Suck it up. It's part of the human experience. Yep. Yeah. And I and I genuinely believe that. Yeah. Uh, don't knock it until you try it. Eric, you're, you're not wrong, though. I, it tastes good. I've been a, uh, a victim of a surprise <laughs> suppository. Um, a victim? I thought I was getting a oral medication from a nurse, and she just slips it, up your butt. it in. And I was like, oh. Hey, Dude, let's calm down. When I when I got my job broken, I, I, I have some weekend. questions, Scott. Uh, <laughs> when I, when I got, hold on. Were you wondering why you were laying on your stomach when she told you? To get <laughs> no, pill? I was not laying on my stomach. She <laughs> flipped me on my stomach. Yeah. I was like, "Holy yeah, shit, that was quick." She just <laughs> booked me. In She's done this before. She oh, I, like, what the hell? I bet it. I bet I it, su- it sucked that thing up like a bank tube. Just <laughs> <laughs> well, there was some butt puckering happening afterwards, I'll tell you that, man. Oh it even made the soup sound. Bank tube is a great descriptor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just fires oh right God. up there. I will tell you guys a story. And this is not even a drunk story. Oh, Daniel, that's the best thing I heard in a while. <laughs> oh when I got married, I got married in Mississippi, which means I had to get a marriage license in Mississippi. And Mississippi oh. <laughs> requires a blood test for syphilis. 
I was not about to go back down to Mississippi. How much syphilis is in Mississippi that you need to test for it? I don't. Oh, I do. I do I don't ask questions about politicians. So, <laughs> so I went, the people uh, you're like, supposed to ask questions about. So I uh, no, because I think most of them are corrupt and I'm fucked up, and I'm I'm the anti everything. Most of you guys believe it. Uh, here it goes. Um, That's fair. I like that. <laughs> so I went to a health department here in Cook County. Out in the mm-hmm. south suburbs in Chicago, the Chicago area. And I wanted a syphilis exam. So I went to the Cook County Health Department out in the south suburbs to get a syphilis exam. And they went, sure, we can give you a syphilis exam. And I <laughs> went through the syphilis exam, went through everything, and they, you know, they checked my blood, they did everything else, and they said, Well, Dr. Sons and Sons would like to talk to you. And he said, uh, I need you to pull down your pants. I didn't really get rat's ass. And then this motherfucker says to me, and I quote, when I stick this thing up the head of your penis, I don't want you to wiggle or move. And Uh, I immediately... Excuse me? Not that, that, Sean. I didn't have words. My body grabbed my underwear and pulled it up. Okay. You you were... No? What did you say? And you weren't going to let them hit you with the old cotton eye Joe. You were getting <laughs> the fuck out of here. Like, hey, find another hole, my friend. Find another hole. And I said, yeah, I, said I, don't think you want. I don't want to cut me here for a syphilis exam. And he looked at me like, son, he's an old man. He's like, son, you're in Chicago. We don't Cheers, do William. one exam. You come in here, we're going to test you for it. And he rattled off a whole bunch of shit. And I was like, but I don't need none of that. My license only needs syphilis in Mississippi. So did, so did you go back to Mississippi? And, right. No. And that was in your damn, damn I'd have called her and said, we ain't getting married in Mississippi. Pick a different fucking state. And, and damn it, Dan, that's exactly what he said. And if you need us, yeah, you're going to have to pull them drawers back down again and don't move when I stick this thing <laughs> yeah. on your penis. And I have to tell you guys this. I'm going to say something really fucked up. No. After that test was over with, I felt vulnerable for two, three weeks. <laughs> you're, you're penetrated. You were just oh, like, oh, oh, I, was, he, I he was, was right. I wasn't right after he that. He was just was sitting right. on the floor of his shower. I was right. I was Walking right. back and forth. Cold sweats. It took, it took me at least two weeks to just get over that. Yeah. I, I was like. Can I, can I tell you a good one? Yeah. Go ahead, so, so when I was in the Air Force station in my first base, my um, – Oh yeah, be bad. Funny enough, my ex-wife, um, she gave me chlamydia. chlamydia, and so I had to go get checked out at the at the local clinic on base. Well, guess what? Dormitory lives like right next to us. Oh, all the medical guys. So in other words, I had my friend, a guy I've met before, doing that. Oh, what, what Derek just described. So <laughs> oh, every day after that, I'm like, "Hey, how you doing? You stuck something in my shit." <laughs> It's just it, uh, it's I, every day. I, it was a reminder of it, and I'm oh, like, oh, I, I, oh, I, I, I understand. But by the way, Tommy, I'm going to say this to you. I had a slight advantage over you. Um, I married the town whore also, and um, I was fortunate <laughs> that uh, I got out of it without a call her that. She uh, passed the and, test, and, and um, before I and, by the way, and, she, and she divorced me. <laughs> Um, well, I was a dumbass that still went on. I mean, that, after uh, that just kind of seems like that's the thing the hoes do, Derek. Uh, <laughs> mine, mine goes to hoe of the Air Force, so. Oh, okay. There you oh, go. Wow. There you go. There you go. But I had to go through that to get where I am now. Oh, that's right. and I, by the way, Tommy, I agree with that because I, I believe I'm about as happy as a fat man can legally be. Well, I'm so, in a better situation than ever. And I'm in a much better place with a daughter. That makes me proud every chance she gets. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Hell yeah, there we man. go. I just, hey. I just, I, the one thing that didn't get me about the Air Force is, yeah, hey, you know, thanks, Jay. You get something done on base at this job, you know, you got to see these people. You see yeah. them in the chow hall, you see them walking down the street. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know what you do, Tommy. You say, yeah. you corner him in the shower and say, hey, now I've seen yours too. And then, yep. <laughs> no, that don't happen. <laughs> Community bathrooms don't happen, buddy. Oh my goodness. We're even. 
No. <laughs> <laughs> <We're> <laughs> in walking. Indeed. Indeed, Michelle. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's awesome. Oh, oh, look at this. Eric's Eric. a member. Thanks, Eric. Mm-hmm. Uh, look at Eric. He got him high enough. He joined. <laughs> <laughs> This whole so, time I've had Rapper's Delight <laughs> playing in the background. Really? The extended version. The two-hour dance hall. Oh, coming. yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, Dan, I need to talk to a man about a dog. All right, sounds good. <laughs> gotcha. I can hear a dog upstairs there, that's talking, talking to a man about a dog. Anybody, anybody else getting that uh, that salty feeling in the back of their throat where uh, your body's trying to tell you you shouldn't drink any more whiskey yet? Nope. No. Not me. Okay, Harold, well, let's continue. I'm definitely not at that level. <laughs> I'm about 15 minutes from going to bed. I'm just looking at my water and realizing I'm going to drink more water. Job yeah, food. water's good. I hear water's pretty good. I can't, I can't. You know, if you can find it, it's one of the best drinks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, whatever you're drinking, Soothing. Right now, whatever, whatever proof, whatever percent alcohol. It is. The rest of it's water. Drink up. Yeah, there's Sounds like good advice to me. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, buddy. Drink. Will Davilar's never had a salty throat. <laughs> you're not. Tra- you're not trying hard enough. Proud of you, well. Will. Proud of you. Will is Will is the manliest man I've ever met. So Damn I right. do not doubt that whatsoever. He just rips a cigar and powers through. <laughs> that, that that probably would help, actually. Uh, this conversation went in a weird direction. Oh, so, uh, I mean, maybe I should wait till Derek's back. Uh, and it got but, weird when I wasn't here, and that's all. It um, was. Oh, no. Hey, Adam, you should try being sober for that conversation. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, circling back to I'm, I'm Derek's mostly conversation, there. I'm mostly sober. Has, uh, by, by show of hands, anyone had a, say, uh, mid-60s older Spanish woman perform that same act that Derek was talking about to you? <laughs> yeah, okay. It's going to be fun. Uh, um, um, Sean, I will, yeah. I will answer Sean, your question. You. Sean, I'm going to answer your question this way. I was born an American, which means I have all American frailties, which mm-hmm. also means I like them young and dumb. <laughs> <laughs> right. So what, what, what I'm saying, Greg, is, is the uh, the I doctor like that per- did, uh, performed the same uh, swabbing, let's say, that you Bad that boy, you bro. were talking about. Um, that was an old crazy. dude, an old black dude, and nope. that's why he looked at me and was like, "Son, did you really think we were just going first, to first?" Work? First thing he was like, "I see you're from the mid south." Now let's. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Well, well played. <laughs> Let me get a bigger Q-tip. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, so I I had a uh, mid '60s Spanish woman perform that act on me, and you could just tell that she did not care at all about my pain or suffering. Uh, she was just like, "Let's just get this over with," and just uh, proceeded to just ream it in. Oh, and yeah, uh, you were talking yes, about the real thing. Yes. Oh uh, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Took it, I took it the wrong way. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dude. Ignore all that shit I said. Earlier. He was sharing his pain with you, Derek. And for similar reasons, Derek, actually. Um, Sean, I as had, we talked about before. Uh, I had a girlfriend give me gonorrhea. And when mm-hmm. I went to go get yep. tested for it, they treated me like I was the asshole. Uh. I Ex- I, exactly. Exactly. I went, I went to go get this, and I. She said, "How? Why do you think you have gonorrhea?" I said, "My girlfriend told called me and told me she has gonorrhea." They assumed that meant I gave it to her. Oh yeah. And it, that, and that's what pisses me off is I didn't give it to her. She gave it to me. God damn it! And, and, I, and I will tell you, I was blessed from that, Eric, because me and my wife went to the same place at the same time. Everybody <laughs> there knew that the two of us were getting married. That's the so greatest typo of all time, Mark. I mean, <laughs> I mean, he, he says those, but you, you only have to pee in a cup for your hose test these days. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're, you're fine. Mark, you, know, was up. Mark, you know what? You were right. I got married. It was right the first time. It works either way. Yeah, it's, 15 yeah. years ago, so shit does change. Yeah. That's true. Oh, we got a peanut cup for a hose test these days. I like that, baby. I you like know, that. I like that. That's the, you know, nobody looks you in the eye when you hand them a urine sample either. They avert their gaze. Yeah. yeah. 
Everybody has a oh. soul does that yeah. anyway. Yeah. You're like, you're like, man, that's not, man, that's not the case. A couple, all of our banking jobs, I had to pee in a cup. Yep, yep. And yeah, and yeah, but nobody make, looked, you, nobody looked you in the eye when they no, took the cup. Oh, no, Eric, they make not only do they make you pee in a cup with the door open, really, they insist you do not wash your hands. Oh yeah, you yep. wash your hands, you fail the test. Yeah, I feel like we've been in the same uh, situations many times in life, Derek. <laughs> 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 so I, I would. There was a time where I was a nefarious character, let's say, and uh, sim- no. similar descriptions to uh, <laughs> what Derek was describing. So and so, I hand my my warm piss to this nurse, and she looks me dead in the face. And it's like, did you add any water to this? Uh, yeah, it was very aggressive. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> and, they, and they've solved that, Sean, at least in the, the testing centers around here in Chicago. They make you pee with the with the damn door open. I'm not, so and it was all turn. bad. So, so she was standing on the wall. You didn't have the guy holding the, the cup. Door. But, you know, <laughs> but. She, she just had to ask me for, like, paper reasons or whatever. Um, Ooh. Yeah. C922. Derek, they let you hold the cup? Right here, they have yes. to hold the cup. Oh, yeah. that's that's nasty. And, and, um, and the and, and the twig. Like, no, man, I don't and, the cup and I'm, the twig. <laughs> I'm 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 like um I'm sorry. I'm about to pee on your fucking hand. I don't, <laughs> know. I don't, I don't pee straight. Out of sneeze. Exactly, Jigs. Like, I, I will tell you guys this. <laughs> it touches your nose. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Before I got a routine. It took my third exam before, not exam, it took my third test before I got a routine. Because the first two tests, uh, I was just coming in, <laughs> I was coming in hot. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, the, there you go. The janitorial <laughs> no. staff needed to be called. The still yeah. brood and reviewed. We're happy you're here. Don't speak too soon, though. You, you might yeah. be happy. <laughs> yeah. We're, We're uh, uh, in about a minute. Sure. The train is well off the tracks at this point. And Michelle, yes, and I'm uh, sorry. I would. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I would love for Eggroll to be on the stream, but he stays upstairs <clears throat> with Aaron because when she's home, he's glued to her. Um, so if she ever comes on the stream, he'll come on the stream. Well, also, dog, she's going to be out of town next month, so I bet you he'll come down here with me. So has, uh, has, has Aaron ever, ever been on? Your dog is actually your wife's mm-hmm. dog. Not that long ago. Well, it's he loves me all day, and then when she comes home, he loves her. You know. Okay. It's he splits each other. the love. <laughs> Dan, Dan, has ever Aaron ever been on? I'm sorry, words are getting pretty hard. No, now. no, she's never been on the stream. She's she was in the uh, Halloween video. She was in that. That's, right. The, the whiskey candy pairing video. That's right. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah, she was in that. She hasn't been on stream. I've tried to get her to come on, and she has refused. I can't imagine why. I understand. I, mean, I understand. We talk about like sticking a Q-tip up. Your penis. I'm saying like so, just, for the, like, just for the first. Part. Yeah. Just for the first part. I don't. I don't understand what you. women don't like about this. Well, I, have, uh, I, will, I will tell you. Guys, you don't have women on your channel. I can't imagine. I'm feel awkward. Yeah, awkward. yeah Michelle. Maybe I, that's. I brought that dumb shit up. Um, you had talked about sticking a Q-tip up the urethra, but it was. Yeah, I'm not. It's the best. It yeah. wasn't for I, entertainment I you, purposes. And I am reasonably sober, and I brought that dumb shit up, and I'm sorry. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I think I can't make that claim. talking about suppository, though. It's true. <laughs> Surprise, suppository. Hello. Hey, hey uh, Dan, how is, uh, how's Eddie doing? Surprisatory. He's doing well. Surprisatory. Um, <laughs> I haven't talked to him uh, uh, since uh, last week. But Scott, he's I, don't doing mean, good. I don't mean to make light of your situation, but in our current <laughs> political environment, you could sue. Scott, that's what it's called uh, when you don't know it's coming. <laughs> hey, hey, to bring it back around to whiskey, though, have you all bottle chug whiskey? Your butt? The, bu- the butt chug? The butt chug. Okay, thank let you me very stop much. you all right here. Butt, butt chug. I have not bottle chugged anything ever. It's you just said butt happen. chug. What? Butt chug. It doesn't matter. About. I don't know okay, so back to hole. Hole. S- same statement as Derek, except for insert butt chug. I've never butt chugged <laughs> any yeah, I, I can't say I ever beverage. Nothing. Any beverage. Nothing. 
Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. And there goes any I'm, chance I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. Is that, a, is that a thing? Oh, that's a thing, Derek. Oh, it's definitely a thing. thing. Yeah, because you get drunk like fast as shit if you do that. Or you capitalize in your. Quickly. Be because yeah, you bypass your liver, your yeah, you get drunk and, way yeah. faster. And, it, and yeah. you get so much alcohol in your system instantaneously. Right not by, bypass your liver. Down. I'm sorry. Yeah. Whatever yeah. the thing is, the process is alcohol. All, I'm appalled that yep. gentlemen that I actually consider myself friends with actually even know what the fuck this is. Have you ever heard number of one. a coffee enema? Uh, number two. Try, try it with whiskey. Yeah, uh, same deal. Two, who who was the first son of a bitch that thought that was a good idea? Uh, I bet you it was a dare. Alabama, probably. Good call, man. I dare I dare you to butt chug half a bottle of whiskey. Yeah. That's what happened. <laughs> if you want to die, <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I, will say I will say this. I will say this. Give this that means there are a lot of people out here with some questionable ass friends. Remember, <laughs> I'm just that's gonna, fair. Get that's out fair, there. Derek. Get out here. <laughs> you know, some questions all in the end of eternity, Derek. Derek, I, I'll Derek tell you we're that. just all professionals. Oh, here, here's okay. the my friends. When we out drinking, we all are trying to figure out who has the closest house with the most bedrooms that <laughs> we don't have to drive any farther. Oh. <laughs> and yeah. that is what my friends are worried about. And be a great kids, place to butt chug. kids find some weird things to do with weird, uh, the beer bongs. Yeah. Well, yeah. remember when they were all like smoking alcohol a year or two ago or vaping? Oh, yeah. It? Yeah. Oh, vaping. Alcohol it. vapors. Yeah. It was like that was alcohol vaporization. Them. Tommy, I want to say this to you, sir. Um, Astra? Damn, I'm happy to be old. <laughs> I'm so happy to be old. This is the first time I ever said it out loud. Just listening to these guys talk about what people are doing. Uh, and I have no idea how Eric knows about it, and I'm not going to ask. But I'm just saying that. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, I, I got. Know. I got What's way Tony? more. I got Tony. What's up, Tony? What's up, brother? We yeah, had to be part of this conversation. Chug chug like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Garrett, I, I hang out with people way younger than you do. <laughs> I bet you do, Eric. I bet you do, baby. Uh, <laughs> I do. And, and I'm going to say this: thirty years. Uh, God bless you. <laughs> I, I did hear about uh, some butt chugs of what's yeah. going on there. Yeah, you got a good story for us? Yeah. Oh. All right. no. Do, do you, you need some like you ever tips tipped and it tricks, upside Tony, down? or what, what, what are we looking for? We're taking you way back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no, let, let's, let's, let's talk about like, best bottle to butt chug with. Proper 12. Hold up, hold up, hold up, everyone. Let Tony tell us. Let this young man talk. Let this young man talk. Soft Let it talk. I need to hear this. Yeah. All right. So yeah, let's talk about like best bottle to butt chug with. Like, yeah. uh, are, are you looking that... for something with some girth to the top, or are you looking for? <laughs> oh, like, you're talking like the physics of it. That's shit. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah, I think no, anything I, high I, west I that's want, really, like, really, really hot. Still. Yeah, the wheel is going to go the, right to your fucking esophagus. We're on like point. It's just go um, all open. As, long as, as long as it don't exceed high west, I'm good. There you go. Those oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. They go all the way. High west has the mushroom head too, by the way. Well, nah, who, there you go. Oh yeah. JD JD single barrel would be rib for a milliliter or your fifty or one point seven five. No, no, the the pot still the the seven fifty. How, how about have this guy here? Oh, I'm sorry. What? How about, how about, how about, about this right here? Uh, you got, uh, what the fuck am I listening to? Uh -oh. <laughs> this is, this is, well, that's kind of like a that's kind of oh, like a you got, uh, there. You, got, you got this action going on right there. Mm, so a little, um, little bold Derek, you made us all stop and make bulge there. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck am I listening to? All so of you. Know. All of you. Shame on you. God damn. Shit they do in the bits No! Or 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 if you really like it big, then Ooh, you can uh, that's, that's do that right action there. right there. Uh, just well, how maybe about, ooh, maybe oh, how about maybe a lucky like seven, go, like straight up like one of these. Maybe a lucky oh, seven, oh, a lucky yeah. seven or seventeen ninety two yeah, because the shape you could clench yeah, it. Yeah, and then it's got this little like. I don't know how we got it. There you go. There you go, Eric. That's probably it. Gentlemen, stop. That's it. Actually, <laughs> that's it. Uh, now, now, now that I'm looking around, this is an extremely long neck. Uh, some would say the, a mid-south neck. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, that, that's Thank uh, God that, Nancy Fraley that's isn't here for that. Yeah. Uh, hold up, hold up, wow. Yeah, hold got, up, got, hold the, got the tag there. Um, yeah, that, that, that'll get it done right there. That, that's going to get up. deep into the coin. No, hold, uh, up. hold up. I want all of us to realize <laughs> what we're talking about. We're talking about penetrating male asses. I'm saying doesn't have to be male. We're not discriminating against sex here. We're talking about anybody. No, no one's talking about me. Don't talk about you too, Derek. No, Eric. Any any asses, not just male asses. Kind of a hard stop here, not not like a gradual curve, but uh, what about the um, smoke wagon is. Hey Derek, if we get if we get a straw though, maybe we could do the penis chug like the old <laughs> procedure. Oh my God. <laughs> Tommy, how about them Cubs, baby? Hopefully uh, they'll be good this year. Yeah. All Bell. right then. I, you know what? I think the Sox are going to be a little better than they were last year. I'm but, thinking the Cubs know, are going to be good, we'll, good, we'll, and the we'll Bears are going to suck see. again. You know, if they, if they hired a new coach, look, yeah, look at the know. ribbing on the uh, Evan Williams bottle I mean, and bond. Look at what about, look at this action here. Is there ribbing? Really, um, what what, what about like a maker's mark? Yeah. I mean, it's I waxed for her pleasure. <laughs> I, like, I tried, Derek, yeah. Derek you, you brought up, so now I'm just going to keep trying to make it more uncomfortable. So, yeah, um, it's waxed. <laughs> Mark's like, I'm out. <laughs> good night. <laughs> Happy birthday, away. Mark. That's messed up. Good night, Mark. Yeah, you, got, you, got, you, know, you made it through weird. another year. Happy, happy birthday, Mark. Oh, oh, happy oh. birthday, Mark. I didn't know it was your birthday. Yeah, you, you made it through another year of this shit, Mark. So good on you, man. <laughs> Is <laughs> enough of this shit. Troy, man, I'm lie. sorry. Lost my shit. I have no idea how this degenerated into <laughs> this business. Uh, fellas, I need something <laughs> low proof so I don't die. Yeah, uh, what, what, what do we got? Um, Last pour of the night is, uh, is Mark no, going no, live? Bad, bad Adam, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, sounds so good though, doesn't it? it? It does. It does sound good. I I, I do love that bottle. Oh my God, for Michelle. God that collects. Mm, oh my I'm, God. I'm sure. I'm sure oh. you have a basic mi- uh, makers, right? Oh, Penelope. Uh, I actually don't like standard makers, so I haven't bought one in a long time. It's that Thursday night. But mood, you're a bro. collector. I know you got one in a bottle somewhere in that. In that. In that. Well, Mark is it, not going it's live. It's my tonight. infinity okay. bottle. Oh, wow. Mark will not be going live tonight. We'll do you, one you more a, pour. Adam, 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 put that in your glass. It, it'll even sober you up. Oh. So this is a combination of everything I drink during uh, reviews. I would not oh. do that. Then. So there's some high proof, high proof oh, puppies in there. I, I would. There, there, there's a mix of everything. Yeah. So it's whatever's left over from reviews. I don't share this bottle because it's just uh, there's some of my DNA in here as well. But uh, mm. yeah, here we go. Let's see what we got tonight. Uh, is there any on the neck? <laughs> Scotch guy. Uh, speaking of that, that would be a good. That, this is a good bottle for uh, what we were talking about before. I mean, look at that thing. That is that is hefty. That I mean, is hefty. The wax, right? the wax, wax very, like very mid south. Hey, Sean, Sean, what part of Kentucky are you from, got the, sir? Also, got the red tip. Uh, you know, so yeah, red, uh, wax, yeah. red rocket. Well, I think okay. that's the red um, on a noodle like a pecker on a poodle. Oh, there you go. go. All right. Okay. Okay. That's Make sure you don't get any <laughs> wax shards on the way out. I love Dan, that we're Dan, making Derek uncomfortable. Dan, this is I yeah. need to rain them in, baby. You need to rain them in. <laughs> no, no, you no. Know. There, there are no rails oh, here. Oh, easy chat. Okay. Yeah. This is about to get we're really not on rails. So, so, we're barely right on, on time. time. Right on time. <laughs> right on time. <laughs> With Aiden. Aiden. Aiden just All this talk has summoned Aiden. Aiden has waited to this point in chat before he actually said, so. Yeah. Hey, I don't. I don't even think I know you, but goddamn, why? You don't you want to. You really don't. Yeah. Why? Aiden, interesting nose. <laughs> Did you see what Michelle said? She said she dated a guy that yeah. suggested a whiskey-filled turkey baster. Hey, what? What? <laughs> I just want to know. There you go. I don't what want to. His ask. intentions. That's my. That's opinion. nasty. What was his desired destination? Yeah. Wait, Dad, wait, wait. Do we really care what his destination? 
We don't need to know people. I don't know. Now I'm intrigued, Derek. Oh, you could have been a know, creator. Yeah, I don't know. Not YouTube, Brian. Not YouTube. Oh, my God. You're too, Brian. Hey, you know. Ben, it, I didn't bring it up, murder. but it was there. Derek I didn't need to know the answer. Loss, I'll, I'll think about twice. it. I'll rumor it. I'll just keep oh, thinking about it. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. <laughs> this infinity bottle has gone in a weird direction. Uh, <laughs> it's Mr. not Yes. Yes. Just taste it, Just taste it. First time. First time. First time. He remembers. Hey, hey, Aiden, if you got the time, I feel like uh, Derek should officially meet you because there's nothing like uh, oh, having you yeah. on screen yeah. with, yeah. with all of your accessories, let's say. Yeah. Um, Wrenches be ready. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Wrenches yeah, he's got some ready. serious butt chuggables in his house. So. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What the fuck? Things will say, get People don't understand how it is, but it'd be like that. Uh-oh. Here we go. It's gonna be like that's, that. That's weird. Big swing. Hold on. Is that is that a word there? Around he there he is. He there he is. is. What's up, Aiden? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. oh, I, no. I think we have met. Not we, we have, not we definitely we met, met Derek. Yeah. All it took was he shaking us. So, so Derek waited until that was flopping around to say he met him before. Like, oh yeah, yeah, I remember yeah, that guy. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. I remember that guy, that penis guy. I, I, I gotta say, Derek, I'm surprised you forgot. Last time I saw uh, that guy, he was no, holding a Q-tip. No, no, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on. In my defense, the picture of that of his avatar, whatever the case was, gotcha. Was was this dude? Yeah, yeah no, I, I don't remember that. But, you don't remember well, the leather daddy? Oh, face, this leather daddy. Call me leather daddy for real. Okay, what? Well, this young man's face, I do remember that. I mean, more hey, than one reason, but you know. Hey, Aiden, put a beanie on and you'll be Dan Jr. Yeah, that's me. Like, I mean, kind of, yeah. Huh. Like with the beard and the glasses. By the way, guess, I'm guessing the turkey like baster goes in your ass. You think? <laughs> oh my goodness. Probably. I didn't hear the context. So. I mean, his or, you know. Usually. No. Either. It's the same thing as soaking a tampon in, in vodka. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, that's what we've been talking about for a while. Is, is, is the art of the butt wait, show. What do you mean, soaking a tampon? Okay, wait. So there yeah, used to be a thing where a bunch of, like, kids trying to get drunk but not, like, drink, they would soak a tampon in vodka and shove it up their ass because it soaks in faster. Michelle, it's a train wreck. You can't look away. It just... I absolutely love Derek's face right now. Crazy. This is, that's how it goes. <laughs> but no, that was a thing. It was like on the news. Yeah. You can Google that one. I wouldn't no. recommend it. Same I mean, kids were eating tampons. No. Yeah, yeah, don't recommend tampons. don't recommend Googling kids putting don't Google kids in general. Nobody <laughs> wants that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it, it yeah. looks don't like Google. the FBI yeah. at your house. Don't that's Google it. Uh, yeah. Unless yeah. you want the FBI or Chris Hansen at your house. Unless you want a flashbang through your window. Or, or Chris Hansen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Why don't I'm you take a seat right over there? Take a seat. Dan, baby, do something, baby. I'm sorry, one more time, Aiden. Could you point us in the direction we need to take a seat to? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Just oh, take God. a seat right over there. Oh, oh, oh I, I meant with there. the other thing. Uh, <laughs> but uh, oh, oh. Take a seat right over there. And you know what? And I feel I feel guilty here. I, I shared an intimate story that my dumb ass should have kept myself, and this is <laughs> that's probably result. true, Derek. And, and, and you uh, made it the one hell of a stream, Derek. Yeah, thank you for that. His content is. And I would say you to you, Michelle, and any of the innocent people out here, I'm sorry. Um, so, how many turkey basers were involved in this story? Oh God, I'm so sorry. Just uh, one so far. Only Derek, one, I mean, I'm, one I'm hoping at walking least walking. at least three. You, oh. you got to have at least. Look, three. Will, I'm usually the voice of reason. It's just the conversations are usually not that great. You're you're the voice of reason. No, you're the uh, voice of Troy. Man, much I would recommend you watching this alone. Okay, the question is, am I in comments or am I here? Has soundproof that nobody else can yeah. hear. Because you don't want any. Troy, man, I suggest this shit. you do not. Because am I it. playing it up or am I being legit? There's two different sides to that. Wait, what's happening? I, I think you're being legit. You've all you're always legit. What are you talking about, Aiden? You're yeah. always legit. False. Dude, Aiden, you're too legit to quit, bro. That's right. Deep. Oh, I feel like it's the end of that sentence. Too legit, too <sighs> that legit to quit. Kick out. No. Oh, my goodness. And we can't you guys ever hear about 50? 
50 cent. 50 is nuts in your mouth. Yes. Oh. 50 is nuts and in your goodbye. Knew it. <laughs> Wow. Uh, if you ever need to spice up your yeah, live stream, bring Aiden on. <laughs> uh, that's how you do it. Ladies and gentlemen, Aiden. Hell yeah. Uh, Everyone's that's favorite. Aiden. That's classic Aiden. Man. Fucking Aiden. So, so Aiden, Aiden, I'm sure you're still watching. You need the giant uh, purple need? dildo. Sean, giant purple Sean. dildo Stop is it, what you need in your life. He probably has one. Uh, I've I think he probably they, has a dildo of rainbow shaped, colors. Like, like, like what they do you actually mean? look like an eggplant? I, I think he has a dildo for every day of the week. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah wow. Exactly. Well, make sure to hit that like button. I, it's I, a dildo, yeah. not a dildo. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Bang. That's messed up. That's messed right. up. that one hurt me. Ouch. All right. Uh, oh God, what's up, Anthony? Uh, uh, hey, we talk wow, you, uh, you you have come in at a very strange time in the stream. Uh, hey, Anthony, <laughs> break uh, time couldn't have come. Uh, leave, leave all you can. Come here leave and get some civility to all this bullshit. Uh, poor, poor Derek has brought <laughs> Derek has brought a plague on the stream tonight. Mm-hmm. I did not know. <laughs> <laughs> I shared. I shared. I shared. Uh, I'm totally going to say it's all about Derek and not about surprise. You guys took that story and went to Cleveland with it. I, I didn't <laughs> want to go to Cleveland. Hey, just because we skirted up doesn't mean that you didn't start that shit. Right. <laughs> yeah, did. Yeah, did. Yeah, did. Yeah, did. <laughs> it happens, you know. We didn't start the fire. It was always part of I just hopped in and already knew the flotation song. device. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. There's definitely one you, you wouldn't want to uh, chug Ooh. from your lower <laughs> regions because it's uh... All right. All right. So, That's Dan, circle, circling back to an earlier topic, we didn't start the fire or any Tom McDonald song. What are you choosing? Oh, we didn't start the fire. <laughs> really? Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. It'd, it'd be tough for me because uh, I hate that song tremendously. But I mean, it's um, it's not a good Billy Joel song, but it's like kind of funny. Not a good song, period. Yeah. What's up, Independent Joe? Joe. Joe brothers. How you doing, Joe? Hey, Joe. Yeah, brother. <clears throat> I'm going to drink some of this. What do we got there, Joe? Got a lot. I'm um, having some uh, Dusties. Oh man, nice. Dusty. Yeah. Dusty Dusty. 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 Are, are you are you still sad, Joe? No, I'm over it now. Thanks. Over, okay. Good. <laughs> Thanks for trying to remind him of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't say anything bad. Now, now I'm a Bengals I fan. I, a I don't know. Oh no, you're not. No, you're not, Joe. Ah, you can be, be a Chiefs fan, brother. Come on. <laughs> be a Pretty Chiefs sure he's a Cowboys fan. fan. Nah, I, I, I'm not a fan of any other team but my own. But okay, uh, my cousin's a Bengals fan, so I guess I, I I'll uh, root for his team. No, no, hey, no, no, root Joe, against uh, him. Let me help you out. Let me help root you out. against uh, him. Show him how wrong he is. Hey Joe, my favorite <laughs> team is the absolute sorriest team in the league. Who? Therefore, I must carry on other teams. The Chiefs happen to be one of them, and the Cowboys happen to be the other. Since the Cowboys shit the bed, all I got <laughs> left now is the damn Chiefs. So, thank you, brother. Yes, you got uh, who my go. team, who my real team is. Yeah, uh, Scott knows, but uh, it is, is it Detroit? Doesn't matter. Cheers, Mr. Duke. Oh, it, 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 not not even that good. Okay, it's the it's the Bears. And you had to say that, uh, uh, Eric. You had Dumb. to say that. Even the after Bears. Said, I, mean, uh, I mean, the the Bears have been better than Detroit for several years. I mean, off and on, not not this year. Not, not this year. That's true. What the fuck? I don't, I don't even. Oh know. my god! I I don't. What what is happening? <laughs> oops, sorry. But that was first. don't oops that yep. shit. You knew what oops. you did. I I did it it had to, uh, that's not. not sure you guys me uh, using my drops, but okay. That's not. Uh, that's not uh, Ben singing. <laughs> what? Usually, isn't it a picture of Ben singing? Yeah. <laughs> so, Joe, I have to have surrogate teams. Tommy D got the and style. And unfortunately, like I said, the Cowboys old just style. Bad. I mean, that's kind of their thing. So, you don't want to ruin it. Um. Yeah. 
Well, all I got now left is the Chiefs. And I like that because I actually kind of like that beige quarterback. No. He runs, he runs like a girl, but he what? plays, but he plays, his, what? But he plays his ass off, and I love it. He don't uh, look like it, a it, girl? It's, 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 have you seen him run to the huddle? <laughs> I swear to God, and three other white men, you better take that shit back. You need to see him run to the huddle. You're uh, not a I'll I'm say a this. City Chiefs fan. Derek, Derek, do we have any footage? I, I'd, I'd love to see some footage of this. Uh, Damn. <laughs> so he, he runs to the huddle. Sometimes his hands are down. and he. Oh, uh, that's, no. that's so are, are, are they kind of bouncing? Like, yes, you're talking about. he does that. And I'll tell you this. No, he does when, not. No, he when, does when not. Ball, no, when the ball gets in his hands during the plays, this this kid is outstanding. He's phenomenal. Uh, I love it. Um, and I Can mean, someone please clip that last sentence? <laughs> Balls in his yeah. hands. I got to check out. See you guys. All right, Adam. Thanks for hanging right, out. Adam. Adam. Right, yeah, yeah, I'm going to head out too. Good so. good, All right, Scott. Have a good night. All right, Scott. You all yes, got two more days, brother. One more. What are you talking about? One more. One more. One more day. After tomorrow's stream, baby, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody watch Scott tomorrow because he's going to be repping the Chiefs because he has to. Mm. Hey, um, uh, Brian, if you don't mind oh, me right. asking. You mean Brian, Sunday? Brian, if you yeah. don't mind me asking, you are, are you sitting there completely sober listening to all this? No. He's well, I don't sober. have any alcohol in my system, but I'm not he's sober. He's not sober. That's he's not what you're calling sober. <laughs> I, you know what? I don't need the information, but Adam, he's baby. Not. Adam baby, Adam baby, that's because <laughs> I was kind of wondering. I'm, I'm, I'm liquored. I, I was sitting here wondering. I, I was feeling bad for you, Brian. I was like, <laughs> as a sober man listening to this night, Scott and Adam. I was like, how is that working out? <laughs> Hey, uh, anybody else get uh, this specific uh, mash and journey pick, the mint pineapple mojito? No. No, can't say that I did. <coughs> have you had it yet? What's the, what's the I have not. So that, that's uh, that's tomorrow's crack for the stream, yeah. Uh. What's the brand on that, sir? So it, it's Driftless Glen is the, the company that produces it. But, uh, All right. Of course, but Jason, a, actually, right on the back, Jason. says, uh, so Jason, of course, you like and them, Chris Killian uh, chose this bottle. So there you go. Jason and Chris. Jig's got that bottle. There you go. Cool, man. <clears throat> no, I'm, uh, I'm unfortunately not a part of the Mash and Journey Whiskey Club. So I'm not either, but uh, Jason threw the link up on uh, Dusty Dan's two Mondays ago, uh, and uh, I'm yeah, so I, I got it that way. Oh, like there might still be some available. So these, yeah. maybe I can't say for sure, but possibly. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll take a look at that. Yeah, I, I love my Driftless Glen uh, pick last year, so I'm yeah. hoping this one is uh, awesome as well. I'm sure. I mean, with Jason and Chris picking, I'm sure it's fantastic. Yeah. Add a, go, add a baby, Tommy. Oh. There we go. Is that is that a Chattanooga kill there? Chattanooga port kill. Port kill. So, what That's was your uh, verdict, Chattanooga or Bowman? Uh, I like Bowman on the nose, and it's real close in the palate. But I think Chattanooga, it, you know, just inches it out. Yeah. Yep. The nose though, Chattanooga is just. It's ethanol -y. I don't know. It's it's not. Mm. How long does yeah. Chattanooga leave them in the port barrels? I have no idea. Because Bowman, it's three. The first time they use a barrel, it's three months. Second time, six months. And then they get rid of it after that. And then you get it. <laughs> Joe, you got a, you got a stacked lineup there, man. Greater uh, than six months. Uh, well, I'm not doing any videos until after Saturday's stream. So these are 
just some of the ones I bought uh, during the year and, and I'm doing a live with uh, Toshi Baker. So, um, oh, cool, man. He, I sent, I sent him the, the, my, my top 10 and he's gonna, he's gonna rate and rank them, but he doesn't know in what they are. So, oh, you, um, so I, and I'm going to do it blind also. So, oh. but I know what they are. So that's the only difference between. He's the two. double blind. blind. You're single hey, blind. Hey, hey yeah. Joe, did you yeah, he's single blind. blind. I'm single blind. And uh, we're going to see if we kind of come up with the same rankings. Sure. You're going to give him the, uh, the Pappy, Pappy Fireball? Pappy Fireball is in there. And mm-hmm. Hell uh, yeah. a few others, some Malort slash... Malort. Um, Remus Gatsby is in there, probably. That's a, that's a great yeah, point. Some other stuff, you know. <laughs> awesome. Cool, that man. sounds nasty, Joe. And I'll even like you. <laughs> <laughs> after, after all the stories tonight, that sounds nasty. <laughs> well, that's Joe, Joe, no, I, the, don't, don't do that. <laughs> Yo, don't. Joe, when, 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 I want when, us to move on, Joe. I want us to move on. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? When you update the, the bookshelf, mm. uh, the shelves behind you. Sean, that's you, have, you have a new shelving system behind oh, you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, no, I, I moved to the north wing of the house, which means I just moved upstairs. North um, so North wing. <laughs> Get that? He said north wing of the house. Yeah. Just saying. There's a I just moved. I, I moved all my stuff upstairs in my, okay. all, like, everything's on my pool table right now, so, like. In front of me, so how long Everything. did that take you, sir? Uh, it took it took like four days, four. five days. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass to move. Did you all build the shelves? Oh, yeah. specific? What's that? No, did you build those shelves specific or were they all like already there? No, no, they came with the house when I bought oh, wow. it. Oh, wow, nice. I want you guys to know I have a server farm. Don't ask questions, just let it go. I have a server farm right here. If I had to move those bitches, all those computers, to another room, yeah, it would take me a lot longer than fucking four days. He's a big oh, coin miner. Running is a lot more than running a whiskey from one shelf to another. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Joe, when you did that move, though, did you find something you forgot you had? Yes. Oh, nice. What was, what was it? What was it? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, 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 I don't, I don't he know. forgot it again. <laughs> he forgot it. He already forgot. It's lost again. Damn it. <laughs> so, so Joe, no bottles that you uh, found the move that you were like, man, I forgot I had that. I can't wait to sip that again. No, oh, no bottles. Yeah. Well, I, had, I, I definitely found a, um, that I could think off the top of my head, a, a open, unopened bottle of Hancock's that I didn't, I didn't even know I had this. Oh, oh nice. sweet. Yeah. It was right next Bummer. to the open bottle that I had of it, and I was surprised when I found it. And I found them both. I was like, "What the heck?" <laughs> yeah, because I was actually looking because I saw that you know um, I thought I had them, but I didn't know where. And then when I was moving everything, I was like, "Oh shit, they're there." He did that with Hancock's. I did that with eighty six Old Forester. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing. Same, same thing. Same, <laughs> same stuff. Same, <laughs> same thing. Okay. Hey, uh, Dan. Yo. I'm going to come up missing, sir. Huh? Um, Eric, Brian, Sean, Tommy, um, uh, Joe, and this young man that I, I, I recognize whose name has escaped me. Uh, it, Tony. Tony was good hanging out with all of you. Mm, I, I am going to come up missing, and I had fun tonight. Good idea. Oh yeah. And I left, yeah. And I left this stream without saying anything stupid. You did for oh, sure. Damn it! <laughs> Doesn't mean you're not going to come back later and say something. You're going to come back later. <laughs> just come back later. There, here, here, here is my last step of the night. Cheers, brother. Cheers. 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 I, I love Cheers. you all. Love you all, baby. Hey, do me a favor, Brian. You take care of yourself, sir. I'm working <laughs> on it, buddy. All right, all right. No, no, Joe. I didn't mean that to be funny. I, 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 I was sincerely talking to the police officer. All right, I'm out. See you, Derek. Bye. Have a good night, man. 
<sighs> Speaking of which, I think I'm going to shut it down here. I mean, it's usually okay. I, got, I got Mark, you know, that goes, and then I can cut it off. But Mark's not going tonight, so I think I'm just going to shut it down. We're going to head to the back room. So, all right. Uh, thanks so everyone for hanging out. You didn't come with us. <laughs> <laughs> thanks everyone for hanging out tonight we got a couple spots we'll be hanging in the back room for a little bit i'm sure finishing up our pours so if you want to get in on that hit the link and come hang out otherwise uh we'll be here next week i got no idea what the fuck i'm gonna do but uh maybe we'll talk about butt chugging again who knows <laughs> things happen but cheers everyone thanks cheers hey, next cheers. Cheers. cheers everybody next thursday is my daughter's birthday so who knows i might not be here <laughs>